Can I can try this again. I'm just not getting any of the cool spells yet, so that's what the problem is. It's getting stuck with my starter spells. Not your day today. Yeah, I, for some reason I'm feeling a bit tired. I thought I got like plenty of sleep, but I don't know. Uh... If I had got that Eden, that character killed to an Eden though, they would be doing pretty well. Uh, it's not looking great. Can I just retreat here? Oh, the bats are actually doing some damage to me. I would die to a bat, that would be embarrassing, but I'm kind of dying to the bat. Um. Oh, hey, this guy actually gave me a space. I can actually walk back a bit. Good. Oh, wait, he got up to me for a little while. Uh. I gotta get walking back till I got some magic points. There we go, that did the trick. Didn't die in the first level dungeon. Alright, see you later, Kenran. Hopefully, hopefully this is the gold that survives, right? Oh, so cold. That's not bad. I can always hope. Uh... Oh, I'll just pull these guys back a bit. All right. I'm not even getting the trial the nerfed permafrost. The characters just aren't getting the spell. I still not like a massive fan of the freezing sound. I mean, it's fine, but once it gets a sort of mid level spell that actually gets going, I just don't like close range spells. Um, and the uh, the ice starts with the close range spells. I mean, apart from a radiate, but that's kind of because you do, do need something to finish off creatures next to you, but I don't like having my main attack spells be close range spells. That's always really, uh, really kind of tedious. At that point, you might as well just like play a melee character or something. I don't know. And not worry about magic points. Yeah, the reason to play mages is so you can blast people before they get to you. At least that's the reason I play them. Oh, okay, Quotho, Gozag, and Ushkeyo. Hmm. I don't think I need those. I need like sticky flame with flame wave. Those are fire spells. Not what I'm looking for. I think that happened quite a bit. You get uh get lots of spells you're not looking for because there's a lot of spells in this game, and a lot of characters are very selective with what spells they want to use because of uh, the different like spell schools. You can't just get any spells; they have to be on the right school. Um, but yeah, so the majority of games, so most of the spells you find will be entirely useless to you. Especially with these things like Ice Elementals, which are kind of focused on uh, very few spell schools. Alright, what does this shop got for me? Oh, it's got Jackals. I should actually get my better spells, should I? Because I've uh, definitely high enough level. Let's get the Frozen Ramparts and the Ozzycubus Armor. Can I get the Ice Beast as well? No, I'm missing a spell level to get that one. There's plus four ring mails, plus three ring mail of ice resist. Like boots and cloaks and stuff. I don't know, I mean, I don't have any armor at the moment, but I think I might wait on uh, grabbing those things. One more nuts, ghost, there are vine stalker fighter. I mean, I might be able to freeze them. They only do 68 damage. What else have we got? Some guys, ghost. No wonder they. Don't do much. Six damage. And they've got all oh, this guy. They know they don't actually have Paul. They look like they've got one, but they don't actually have it. Jong Hose Ghost. They're a Murpho Gladiator. They'll just hang out in here. I feel like three of them is kind of a bit much. Uh. They were hanging out together. I might as well wear this resist corrosions here, I've got it. Sure, at some stage I'll start meeting acid drakes and they'll do a bit of damage to me. I'm planning on going Bjorg, but I'm getting pretty damaged. Yeah, that was with within one smite range there, which is not great. I 
I kind of miss the like old oh wait they even got the holy rest. I miss the old like throw ice spell whatever it was called throw frost or something because it gave you some sort of ranged option. I need to run up to people in a robe. I do kind of have a decent amount of armor class, but I do feel kind of a bit too much like a melee character. Uh... Except for the, except the awkward one that has been corridors. I mean, I actually do do more damage, I think, though. Um... At least you certainly hope so. Give all the awkwardness. Okay. Oh, I don't want to fight Edmund. I need to get back. Also, I'm probably high enough level like again get some nice beast finally. I'll try somewhere else, but I feel like Edmund's just kind of uh, roaming this level randomly and we're going to bump into each other at some point. There he is. Can I just get a nice piece? Actually, oh. Wow, whoops. Ah, no, I was too far from the wall. What did I do? Oh, that didn't work very well. There we go. Got rid of him. Okay. Acid. Sure. I've got five or whatever these are. I might read one. Oh, teleports. All right. Kind of shit, I was hoping for some identifiers or something. Uh... Alright, level 7. First of all, levels of the dungeon don't seem to be too bad this time around, even if I get a holy wrath uh, admin or something. Wait, were those gloves? Because I don't think I got gloves yet. And I didn't really have anything in the way of armor. Ooh, fire this ring? That's not bad. That's one of the resists I'm missing also in Wizardry. I don't even know if I need that one right now. I mean, it would help with the Ice Beast, I guess. I don't think I put it on right now. Ooh, that drain is now distant. Right. Actually, it's not that hard to get to. Uh... I can't kill the other guy, can I? Uh, the guy on the other side here? Don't think so. Ah. He's going to keep netting me up for a little while. Actually, no, I could have killed it. Oh, I should have killed it. I could have sent the Ice Beast against it. In fact, I should go back and kill it right now. Oh, I don't know where it's gone now. Hmm. Yeah, because the Ice Beast can totally swim or float or whatever it does. Alright, got some teleports. What is that scarf? I should check it a bit more thoroughly. Scarf resistance could be actually kind of nice. I don't think I got a cloak yet. Nope, don't. Oh, there we go. So I got a fire resist. I mean, I'm missing a resist electric and I'm missing a willpower, but everything else is looking pretty good. Oh, well, that's bad even doing this. He's going everywhere. But anyway, that uh, does the uh, sewer no problems at all. Uh, I think this uh, Staff of Ice is making my spells really powerful right now. Although these spells that uh, max out and power well before you get a replacement, unfortunately. All right. Um, well, these awkward to kill phantoms. Uh, hey, there we go, got killed. Excellent. Now we can just go downstairs. I haven't found the temple yet, have I? That's a shame. 
I had to keep an eye out for that one, because I do want to... I probably just grab Sif Martyr again. I haven't been doing so well with the spell gifts, but a lot of... Well, one of the characters today lived fairly well. One did not. Hey, there's a temple. Um, hopefully it's got Sif Martyr. Hey, Sif Martyr's like the... Basically the first god in here. Well, okay, not quite. These gods were way closer. Those gods, uh... Oh, do you have to, like... Do the gods have to... Well, the disciples of gods have to pay to get their temples closer to the entrance or something? I don't know how the temple politics work. I feel like there's got to be some system where they decide which gods go where. What is that thing? Spectral Unseen Horror. There's also Zinky's Ghost. No Corridors. They do a free spell. Yeah, they conquer the nice elements list. Um, let's do it all way too Corridors. I don't think I find them. Not close enough. Um, oh, come on, just let me cast my eyes. So, so much warning about like break it, even though I know the guy's right there. Okay, Prince Ribbon's dead. Yeah, but these starter eye spells definitely do the job. They've had the they speed you kind of through the first few levels of the dungeon, and then they kind of run you into problems when you go to the like lair and stuff. Uh. They reached max power packs. Oh, the other cubist arm is still progressing, but the frozen ramparts as well truly max out already. Not gonna progress anymore in damage. And that's kind of the problem, my damage doesn't really go up anymore, does it? But actually, if you think about it, a lot of spell schools kind of go straight from, like, uh... What, third level spells to six level spells or something, but the ice certainly does. But for a long time, it actually went straight from third level to seventh level spells, which is kind of ridiculous. And the main reason I didn't really use it much, uh... I got an ice rig. Not worth the wear against the fire resistance I'm struggling to get, unfortunately. I should have one fire resistance, this guy should be fine. Alright, done, done, level 7. No, not the whites. Oh, whoops, that was silly. It's good, it doesn't really matter though, but it was a bit silly putting out the frozen ramparts. Um... Okay. I think they whites and froze wraiths and stuff that are problem. I'll bring up one of these guys, but it's gonna help me kill Pico. Um, hmm. all right, there we go. Now I should have Pico on his own. I should be able to go freeze them up and stuff. What's my armor get its rope resistance right? No, it's not. That was might be a different character. So I should probably put on the ice dragon arm. Also, my spells castable. They look pretty castable. Let's put on the shield. Ah, uh, some ice beats on like twelve percent failure now, but I think this is not too bad. All right, what skills do I get? I need to get. Uh, I have got the fighting yet. I might get some fighting, and I have got the shields yet because I didn't have a shield before, so I might get some shields. Hold on, I gotta move up and then put on my shield. There we go. Otherwise, that guy's gonna be sitting back there stabbing me with a pole up. Oh, we got a ring of magical power. I, mean, I haven't really been running short on the magical power right now. Although, I don't exactly need that ring of fire, so I don't want to wear it. I can wear something else. 
Um, I don't know, probably as soon as I get some decent spells, I'll probably swap with that magical power or something. Something like, I don't know, refrigerate or something. Uh, Permafrost eruption. Hopefully I'll get one of those. Okay, I can bring this guy back into here and just freeze it up. Where's Grub's Hound? He's kind of on his own. Should have an army of hounds, but I guess he did this time round. Wait, hold up. I haven't done Identify yet. Let's go get that one going. So I got Heal Wounds, Haste, and Barosia. Noise, Silence, Revelations, Jar Weapon. Oh, Revelation's good. Got some, uh, vulnerability. I'm not sure if I need that one right now. Alright, good. I think that's every uh, identify you used up. I should just, I should actually do a couple more levels of dodge at least. Ooh. Not a Bailey again. Uh. And also, I heard a Bailey was a pretty weak one on, like, last character. We'll see how it is with this character. Hey, Freezing Cloud. Is that something I can get? Conjuration Ice Air. The only spell schools I plan on getting is the ice and then eventually earth. But I might be able to get a little bit of conjuration to get that one going. We'll see. Sounds like no one there counts for right now. Ooh, podcast is nearby. I think I need to use that uh, magic map. I think I can just wander around. How close was that? Oh. Wait, was it very nearby? It was nearby, now it's very distant? Hmm. I wonder whether this being misleading or whether that's actually true, because if that's actually true, it gives me a pretty good idea of where it is. Very distant still. Hold on, this is not leading where I wanted to. Um, oh, this is definitely not leading where I wanted to. I think I'm gonna have to use the magic map after all. That's kind of where I thought that would be. Except uh, I was thinking more. Yeah, I'm thinking behind here, but I think I'd go around the other way. All right. And I got him during room, so let's just head on in. Uh, which one is this? Uh, these guys will seem to have axes. Is this just like another oak one with axes? I think it might be. And there'll be some tough oaks near the end. Do I have any ones? I got paralysis, ice blast, acid. I do actually have a sledge of ones there. I haven't expected to using them or anything, but they can still do something. Alright. Oh, there's a, there's a tougher guy. It's gonna break my, you know, break my arm if it doesn't matter. Good, shields are fighting, I've got where I wanted to go. I might just bring up the ice magic, hope for something. Um, I think if I, I don't think I can get the... Free of the cloud on Jussie Ice Magic, though. I kind of doubt that. I was actually not too bad when I had a... Um, and no Ice Elementalist, because I was totally able to just get the freezing cloud going. So far, that would be too bad, but this looks a bit worse. Oh, I can't freeze those statues? Interesting. Got us, got us plus three bad legs. Right, so can I just ice blast a bit? Ooh, that didn't do that much. Alright, let's just go for a bit of a run around here. I might try and just get the treasure. I'm just hoping this guy... 
I was hoping it's kind of like a pull loud in here. Oh, no, there isn't. Okay. Anything good in here? Stone arrow, bronze barreling boulder? Not really. If I can paralyze this guy, I might be able to kill it, but it's uh, only a 70%. That doesn't work very well. All right. Ooh. No, don't go there, Ice Beast. Man, okay. I gotta start a teleport. Alright, that does the trick. That was worth it for the acquirement. Let's get out of here. Oh, I don't think I should stick around, so... My acquirement, I've got a stuff verse. There's an intelligence slang minus the XC invisible. That's alright. It's four intelligence, I think. Doing a few with fallen anguish and tire. That's alright. Hmm. Do I need this? I mean, the invisible's alright. Slang's not gonna do about a bit much for me. It might do a little bit. I think I'm going to use that. I might just grab the Book of Dreams. Um, that's always more spells. says Earth Magic Manuals, Trident of Electrocution, Staff of Fire. I will grab the Earth Magic Manual because when I get Permafrost Eruption, it's an Earth spell, so... It'd be nice to be able to just grab a whole bunch of Earths as soon as I get that one. I got the Scarf Resistance. I don't need that Scarf. These gloves might be good, though. Oh yeah, my gloves are plus uh, zero. Let's try them out. Plus one gloves? Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, fusion? Is that a problem? Hold on, I might actually carry on these gloves for a little while. I hope if fusion doesn't make that into a problem, but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Also, I'm probably better off having the evasion on than the resist corrosion. No, I'm probably better on the resist fire because I got the scarf resistance on right now. Ah, oh, nothing. No artifacts in there. Just gonna have to keep with my stuff of coal, which is actually not bad. Alright, one more, maybe one more, one or two more levels of the dungeon that go down this hail, wait, hail sob. Give that a try. I kind of forgot that spell existed because you don't usually find it. Oops. I can't damage things next to me. Well, that really went through my magic points kind of fast. Uh, I'm not sure it's a very good spell, but it's, uh, it exists. And it's mine now. I mean, I think it works all right on the whites, so... I guess that's something, right? Yeah, okay. I think it's... Uh, it's Makes whites way less tedious, so that's nice. Hmm. Uh. They keep over this corrosion. I'm pretty sure. All right, so we've got the base of variability. So I want to eye capsule chaos at people, but I'm not really planning on that. Uh, is there low dull in here? There's almost certainly low dull in here. I'll bring these guys around this corner. But yeah, the frozen ramparts are still my main way of taking enemies out, I think. Man, I wish that hell saw a faster animation. That's right. I, I remember that rather being kind of bad. Uh... Like, it looks pretty with those little ice, uh, ice schools forming around, but they sure could be a little bit quick with their animation. Oh, I hate Snog. No way, this doesn't make any sense, though. Ooh, froze red butts. Uh, okay, can I paralyze her? No, it's like 70%. I'm not very good at that. I might try hit him with a bit of acid. I might hit him with a bit more. Hit a bit more. There we go. Got rid of her. So she's got a plus one troll in the rubber. I'm wearing Steam Dragon armor. You know what? I might put it on. You might have a bit of regen. Why not? 
What? Oh. Can I get a boob up? Oh. Yeah, if it does want to boob up, I'll just hailstorm it, but I think the hailstorm can mess, so it's not the best spell ever. Hmm. That. What I want to do. Maybe should have moved back a bit first. Yeah, actually, that's not the best place to be. Let's just go. Ow, that actually hurts. It's okay, but I was. If I get a break from these creatures, I want to take it. Oh, I'm going through my magic points. Ah, attacking things. Uh... Hmm. Because I got the got the gloves on. Oh, maybe I should have those gloves on. I think feel like that's probably a bad idea. Ooh. That did a bit of damage. Yeah, you know what? I know I lose the arm class, but I'm gonna put on just some regular gloves so I'm not losing magic points every time I attack. Alright, so I've got another yak here. I haven't checked out that robe, it could be good. It doesn't look like a magic robe, so it's a... Ooh, a robe of willpower, that actually could be good. I currently wear regen. Hmm. When I go to the lair, I should probably put that one on, actually. Because they've got the guys, like, basilisks that want to petrify you. My dude does level 11 first. Is there anything I need to be worried about? Dungeon level 11? Impossibly, well, this guy could be a worry. Just fire this up for a little while. Guy's gonna die eventually. There we go. Is that to survive long enough? Uh, heroes is good. I might as well just buy it. Not getting too much of magic, but I will get that eventually. Also, how's my teleport situation? I got nine, which is plenty. All right. Oh, I'm gonna get 5 AC right now, that's kinda not very good. Uh... Oh, I can't see invisible. Oh, that's actually a problem. Hold up. Ow. I missed my ice piece. Alright, um... Yeah, okay, so those shadow guys are absolutely slaughtering me right now. Ooh, I do see a gargoyle, which I don't want to get too close to, so I gotta... Gotta back up this way, because Gago should be the same speed as me. Alright, there we go. Backed up away from the Gargoyle. Um, oh, it's that guy again. How do I get the Invisible? If I had the Invisible, this would more be fine. You know what, I'd go to the left. Alright, uh, well, the Staff of Fire, maybe I should have picked that one up just, uh, as a source of fire just that I can't grab. So we got Spell of Dead, Confusing Touch, Kiss of Death, get all necromancy spells that I'm not gonna use. Oh, I'm just backing up a little bit. Hey! Hey, that's perfect for us eruption. Excellent. Now it's gonna get a castable. Alright, so it's Ice Earth. Um, let me... Oh, wait. I totally forgot to turn on smoke housing, didn't I? That's fine. Let's get some us. Uh, let's get that up to, like, uh, at least 12. Um... Then of resist corrosion. Let's put on the Ring of Wizardry. Okay, it's 60% failure. So that's gonna take not too long, I think, to get castable. Uh, I could take off my shield. See how castable it is without my shield. But if it's castable without the shield, that's not too bad. I'll try to take this off. Ooh, 68%. Okay. Well, that makes me happy. Um, At some stage, like, really soon, I'm gonna have to get that channel magic go as well, actually. I'll just try getting four. It's not gonna be reliable, but it might be better than 60% failure. No, this is, this is great. It, no, sure it's not, but like, I'll take it. Oh, it's a Minotaur. 
No, this is still way better than what I was doing. Okay. I don't have any magic regen, so getting to this Minotaur type could be hard, although it's very nearby, apparently. Should be able to see it, like, immediately around here, because it's very nearby. This is too far away from where it should be, okay. Nearby. Mm, I think it's this way. What? Where is it? Hey, there it is. Let's, uh... Oh, I probably should drop something. Here's the card shield. I dropped the... No, I actually can't grab the infusion gloves now. Because I'm not doing as many melee attacks anymore. Uh... I dropped the steam dragon armor. Alright. Oh, I don't need the charm weapon, do I? Don't need the noise. That's probably good enough. Let's get in here. So I got bees, I can kill bees. Hold on, this isn't giving me a lot of choice, is it? <laughs> About what I want to kill. It's giving me a choice of when I want to leave. Oh no, those guys look nasty. Six furries. Man. I don't think I can do about those. I don't think I can get a resist electric, can I? I can probably kill these bees. Where does that put me? Probably close to them, but I think that's fine. Right, so the gloves give, ooh, two fire resist. They do randomly corrode me, but they give a willpower. Those are really nice. I'm going to put those on. All right. Whew, the Catabolipus, though. Hmm. Not perfect. Uh, whoa, hold up. I might put on the barber. All right, that was yeah, it was not perfect. Oh, the next one's gone. Like the the guys that go invisible. Um, I can't see invisible. That's a problem. Can I just how fast are those? Those are probably a bit fast. Oh, there's a six fire. He's after that. And a statue, which I could kill. Oh, man, I wish I could get, uh, I wish I could miss these two out. <laughs> oh, I think I just go to the Minotaur, unfortunately. Right, doesn't it call resistance? That is a plus the entire flail? How much damage could that hit for a melee? Whew, 58 damage followed up by 20 damage gore? Alright, let's not let that get a melee. There we go. <laughs> That would have absolutely killed me in melee. Uh, stuff, alchemy, I'm not sure I really need that. Javelins. Uh, gotta scroll right. Oh, I didn't have a lot of stuff. Don't need, really need the dire flail. Uh, whatever, I'll pick it up anyway. Let's get out of here. Wait, uh, yeah, I should probably just get out of here. Well, that was, uh, that was not too tough, but it was a bit low on loot, which is alright, I guess. Oh, wait, is it just a butterfly? Oh, blow the butterfly? I guess the butterfly is technically hostile, but I would have not expected the power frost eruption to target butterflies. I feel like most things miss out targeting a butterfly, but maybe not. Not everything. Well, clearly not everything. Yeah, this is, uh, hold on, let's go to bed some stage. Put on the magic power ring. I might have to take off the evasion because I don't think I can take off the wizardry just yet. I'm still on 4% failure. That actually gave me one, another one and a half cast out of the spell. Oh, thing. A sculpt simulacrum. Uh, probably don't need that one. Ooh, I don't want to be up to Harold here. Did I ever get the blink spell? I don't think so. Shame, we're just gonna have to freeze him. There goes Maki me. Unfortunately, the power frost eruption doesn't work once you get like right up to a creature. Um. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. 
I can't even back you up, but maybe you should challenge the magic in case some bad stuff comes along as I need to fight, but no, that's either way. Hey, something reached 12, so that's my earthwork going to a good spot. Let's get some more. Yeah, let's get some more ice. Try to get the permafrost eruption going that way. If the earth ever didn't finish this manual, I might just actually grab a couple of more points. Whoops, that's all right. <laughs> let's say the target of 12 and I'm already on 12. Okay, go identify. I've got four of the potions. I should do that totally. Resistance. Oh, yeah. Man, you should be fine. Yep, no problems. Uh, you got Steam Dragon Arm, which I've already found some of. The next thing to do is probably put my shield back on. Man, I should probably try that soon. See how it looks. If I might try it right now. 6% failure, that's probably acceptable. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Gastro gets a hat of willpower. Hold up. I might just challenge the magic. Go find him. There we go. He's dead. So I've got... I don't think I actually have anything on my head. So a hat of willpower is kind of nice. Uh, what am I missing? I'm missing boots and I'm missing an amulet. Why is my fire resistance so high? Right, because I actually found the other thing fire resistance, which means... I actually took off the fire resistance ring. Wait, where's my third fire resistance coming from? Oh, scarf resistance. And two for my boots. That makes sense. Willpower's doing really good because I got one on my hat and one on my gloves. I need to resist electric and a resist corrosion, but those might just have to wait. Oh, um. That's not what I want to say. At least it wasn't totally next to me, but I might just have to take another staircase. Get this hydro a little bit further away from me, I think. I really need that potential fire rig. Uh... Yeah, it's uh, mildly pointless, but I got three fire resist already. And I could probably chop off, swap on pretty much any cloak I found at the moment if I needed it off the scout resistance. Not the usual situation. I think I killed the Hydra. Oh, there's still a guy here. Alright, uh, the hailstorm won't hit things next to me either, so the ice spell is kind of a mixture of weird things that kind of only work in melee range and things that don't work in melee range. Uh, but usually I can get the refrigerator at some stage to kind of work to deal with things at any range. Alright, I'm going to try to challenge some magic, but unfortunately some of these guys are going to get up to me. Although if something's sitting behind a thing next to me, I can see I can still blow it up, which is nice. Guys, I got Mystic Blast. Alright. Don't think I'll be getting that one. It's not a, not a nice spell. Yeah, like that, I managed to blow this up because I had a guy behind it. Uh, be a little bit careful that area. The wood is nice though, because it means I bring all the freezing clouds, but gotta be careful not to oh not to get like anything away uh too close to me or anything. I do want to condense vein. Which means I can probably drop well I can definitely drop these both of these old pairs of gloves because I got the super awesome fire resist gloves now. Well fire resist willpower. Oh hey, it's a Sif gift. I should take it out. God, Crystal Spear, Bombard, Lightning Spire, Call of Discharge. I mean, a static Discharge. I mean, that's like somewhat relevant. I do have uh, a skill. Oh, uh, no, that's not what I want. That's not going to work. I'm going to teleport. Oh, hey, it uh, backed up a little bit. I don't know if I can kill that. I might actually be able to just hit that with an acid or something. Whoops. What's channel magic? There we go. Uh, 
I was pretty jealous of the boy. I think it failed. Anyway, yeah, it's definitely make sure I got some magic when I try to rest up here. Hey, Blink Spell, that could be useful, because I do struggle to kill things next to me. Let's get that. In fact, I should get just a little bit of translation to go, a uh, translocation to go with that one, like maybe four, three, something like that. Um, actually, I can drop these ropes of willpower. Like, anything else I need to put back on? Can I get that? Hmm, I got the wizardry. Gonna try put on like a ring of ice, see how that goes, instead of the wizardry. 6% failure, right. Oh, the blink doesn't really work anymore. Oh, well. And fire resistance is still okay, because that was just really good before. Um. So it should increase its power up a, a little bit. Oh, it's Battlesphere and Servitor. I don't think the Servitor can cast the permafrost eruption just yet. Because usually the spells are added as like monster spells a little bit later on than they added as player spells. Unless that's been changed recently, but I didn't see any, uh, nothing about that being changed. Which means it doesn't make a lot of sense to get served or unless I want to try and get a, I don't know, crystal spear or something. I probably need more translocations, actually, now that I think about it, I probably need, like, uh, five. Yeah, we're 12% fairly, but I should still get a little bit better. Alright, no, this is working great. I mean, yeah, sure, it's nerfed, but, like, it still works, so. Uh... Oh, that's not a requirement, so I can go grab it. It's going to give me stuff else, which I don't really need. An ablet or a flesh with magic points on it. Hold up, that could be good. Or a manual conjuration. I don't currently use conjuration. I don't currently have an amulet, actually, so the, the amulet's the obvious choice here. In fact, I might go grab that. Strats is all that good. Dex is all right. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely grab that. Whoops. What's my... Oh, the rope fire is... I think I'll leave that. My fire is good enough. I don't care about that one. And I'm actively wearing a ring that hurts my fire resistance because I just it's just that good. Nope. Yeah, I don't care if my armor breaks. I just want to get in range of the enemy with my permafrost. Uh oh, I don't need the cold resist ring. I don't need both these fire resist rings. In fact, I probably don't need any fire resist rings right now, actually, as it turns out. Because I can just swap to any other ring, like the evasion one, and my fire resistance will go straight up again. Oh, getting that extra strength from the amulet might have actually increased my cast chance, which isn't too bad. Alright, what do I need? Uh, 4% failure is not too bad, but... Oh, I still use up the earth manual, I might as well get just a little bit more rust. <laughs> just until that one runs out. And I'll probably get a little bit more spell casting. I don't know, there's plenty of skills I can't get with this character. Magic point robe? I got a game with my regen. It's been alright. Wait, no, my. Yeah, my robe is regen. Ah, oh, there we go. Finish the earth manual. Alright, stop that at 15 or whatever. I channel some magic points in here. Uh. Oh wait, I'm not channeling anymore, I'm about to channel a bit more. There we go. That yeah, should get rid of those guys. You can't just get on the basic rats and melee and be surprised. You know, this is a soft verse, it should take them out, no problems. As a ghoul, can I eat fruit? I feel like ghouls that use me eat. Wait, what did ghouls use the? They used the like flesh, right? Oh, let's take a look at it. I did like sigh. You know, peruse the fruit pile and shrug. Okay, maybe I don't eat fruit. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure ghouls just use the corpses. So they'll probably eat from the meat piles, but all the fruit piles is what I'm guessing there. Oh, Earth Magic's 15, Ice Magic's 18, that's doing pretty good. Uh, bring the spellcasting up to like 12, yeah, 12 is good. Fighting up to 10, and shield up to 10, I think. 
Uh, do I have a... I don't have a refrigerate, do I? That's fine. The power frost is going to keep me going as long as I need it to keep me going, I think. Oh. That cataplephus is going to keep him walking up? No, it's not. I thought it might do something that would stop him walking up. There we go, that's what I was hoping would happen. <laughs> Everything just dies to the permafrost. Right, give me some spells, it gets me haunt. Haunt is just necromancy summoning, right? So I don't think I really need it, also I don't need that necromancy. I do need to identify something though. I need to go identify myself a... I got six of these curings. Oh, it's good I got that one identified. That would get removed confusion. I don't want to be wandering around confused or something. There was something with dungeon level 11 that I couldn't fight. Oh, it's a shadowed little dude, right? But I can actually find it now, so I should be fine. I just gotta get a little bit of space between me and it. Yeah, because I had my ice spells do less damage. Whoa, uh, scale mail of plus seven scale mail of harm. Um, it gives a lot more armor class. Very easy to take it off. I don't even know if I can cast spells with that one on. I gotta preserve my cards because I'm only three percent failing my poem frost eruption right now. Uh, but it might be worth getting eventually. Also, my favorite thing, which is that it's way more protective, so that would kind of make up for the harm. I'd basically just be doing extra damage. If you go down, I know that Komodo Dragon's gonna be on the staircase when I get back there. Oh, Shadow, I'm not gonna- wait. I maybe could eventually get Shadow. Depends how many runes I go for with this character, to whether I get Shadow or not. Because if I go for, like, all the runes, I would totally get Shadow. I'd go, try and get Polyphonics, and I'd try and get Shadow. Oh, I gotta kill this guy. Oh, he's gonna block my staircase. That would be the correct order to get things in. Hey, it's bookshop. Okay, come on. It's a refrigerate for me, so we've got to radiate. I'll think about it. It's not really the right spell schools. Uh, file clutch, maybe. Crystal sphere, toxic radiance. Okay. Which one had the vile clutch? It was the unlife, was it? Yeah, it was. Feeble cause sphere. Okay. Displacement is less beckoning. Pile driver. Type another. Oh, Cadrips uh, is application. Did I have that already, though? I feel like maybe, uh, maybe I'm just missing. I think I'm missing it. Uh, modeling up characters, actually. But it's not something I need in a hurry. Oh, three identify. That should do something. Uh, Six of these attractions. Oh, that's a shame. Probably not going to need those ones. Fog. It could be alright. And fear. Alright. Should have let this guy get right up to me. Um, I mean, I get out my ice piece, I guess. I'll probably just find another staircase. The ice piece can sometimes get me uh, space between me and an enemy. Right, otherwise wouldn't have it because I can kind of hide behind it, but it usually takes a few turns. Or I is carrying ice blast, that's fine. God, the excellent cold resist. Yeah, I mean, it was completely fine, right? Uh, I should actually do the Orcish Mines, probably. Maybe that will have some spells for me. Well, I've been getting too many bookshops recently, but it's kind of very variable. Can I just get that little all count of you? There we go. Because that guarantees I hit the guy I want to hit. Uh, why am I stressed so high? All oh, right, it's my Amlet. I want to get intelligence, so. Oh, my stress is still my highest stat because it also increased. I guess ghouls, they get uh, strands to level up, don't they? I don't think they really get intelligence. Um, yeah, that's alright. Who's this dude? Oh, that Formicid or something. Gaioff's ghost. A Formicid fighter of the Shining One. Oh, man. 36 damage plus anti-magic? Nope. I'm not going in there. Although, if he gets surrounded by guys, I don't deal very well with guys next to me, so that doesn't look like a good spot to be. 
Uh, can I groove these up at all? Not very well. Right, that is the trick. Whoa. Oh, there's a Zom altar with a radio on it, right? That makes a bit more sense. I was wondering what that was. Uh, I don't like this radio. I'm just going to blink away from it. And there we go. Take it out. Oh, there's, there's an intra-dimensional caravan. I might magic map to get to that one. So, oh, it's hard to spot, but those are going to be shops. Could be this thing in here. Probably is. Hey, what am I going to give it? Fireball, Arc Jolt, Air Strike. Alright, okay. Does Sif might have an advantage to gifting guy spells or something? <laughs> Oh, I did get Freezing Cloud, but that's actually not a pure ice spell, so I got a lot of other skills to it. I don't know, because I thought the spells were, like, weighted by what skills you have, but... I don't seem to always apply it like that to the Ice Elementalists, specifically. Like, with other skills, they tend to be pretty well weighted, like with summoners and stuff. It might just be because there's not a huge number of ice spells. Oh, I got a channel magic. Let's not die to an edit again. <laughs> I've already had one character die to an edit today, and I think one character dying to an edit in the Orcish Mines as well was a uh, was enough. Oh, fine, I'll challenge the magic. Uh, let's pull this little look upstairs. That's fine. I'm just worried about the other guys when I go down the staircase. How long has that got stately tolling? That's fine. It's got time. That's fine, I think. Yeah, there we go. You know, I might just tell him magic because uh, otherwise this portal's going to time out. Uh... Bring this guy in with me, I think. Oh, no, I'm going to drop items. Hold on, I might just get rid of this guy. Good, so I can drop the Dire Flow, I'm never gonna need that. I can drop, uh, I probably can drop the Wizardry now. Amnesia is something I might need if I get to the spell levels, but I'm not sure on them right now. There's a bite, that should do the, do the trick. So god. An Ice Strength minus a Ring. I was gonna see him as well, but it's not that good. Intelligence Ring, Dex Ring, I don't think I need that. The Weapons there, but I got the Staff of Earth. Ooh, what is this? Dispersal Ignition, Blaze Out Golem, Apportation, okay. Chaos Book, Discharge, Discord, Ball, Lightning. Party Trick says, uh, something. Uh, what's that? Apportation. Radiate Ignition, Inner Flame. There's another Unlife here. I might grab the Book of Unlife, but I don't think I need those other ones too much. I may just want to grab the potions and stuff. Alright, how far off is the Vile Clutch? It's not that far off. I need some necromancy to get it going, but... Kind of there. Alright, I think I'm done here. Let's get out. But I should probably get, like, uh... Eight necromancy? That might do the trick. I don't know, I don't, don't want to, like, spend too many points on it, but as long as it's just, like, the first few... Relatively cheap bits of skills, not too bad. Also, the Golemite is all good with Necromancy, plus zero aptitude. I think it's one of my better aptitudes. It's not quite as good as my Ice or Earth aptitude, which is kind of why I did the Ice Elementals with this character. But it's not bad. Yeah, I'm definitely working to, like, the aptitude strong points of the goals for the skills I've been taking. Well, the spells I've been taking, which is nice. You don't always work in with the aptitudes. Oh, good, I killed a Roacher. Um, I do have more willpower with this character, but she probably still had a low chance of bandaging me. I don't know, I do have a lot of willpower items, so maybe it's not too bad. Definitely one- oh, what? I thought there was- Oh, it's probably Max view distance, that's why I didn't hit it with the permafrost eruption when I cast it. Oh, 
All right, what have we got here? We've got some more potions. So I might just put these on my shopping list. Uh... I'll just see what else there is. If there's nothing else useful in here, I'll just go buy them all, but... I don't want to miss out on the elemental stuff or something because they spent all my money on potions. Where's the bat? Oh, there it is. It's about the lava. It kind of really camouflaged about the lava. They were actually, uh, they had this bright change because they were too camouflaged before. So they're trying to think, ooh, Book of Annihilation. That's Chain Lightning Shatter Firestorm. That doesn't have the ice one in it. It's got all the other ones, which is kind of funny. There's Fen Folly with summoning spells, and there's Max Hill's one, Max Hill's Pile Drive, and Capacity Coupling. And I Jolt, I guess. Which I Jolt kind of seems like a very Maxwell spell. Alright, what's the way up? Wait, are we down the level above? Uh huh, sure. Uh, where do we go then? I guess I'm back to the dungeon. I did do the level above, good. Just double checking that it's actually done. Uh, that's a uh, occultist. Wait, an occultist? That's the that's the tough one, isn't it? Yeah, it's about three percent of banishment, which I guess isn't too bad now. But it would have been bad if I had not had willpower, which uh, might try this level up actually. Plus three, nah, it's not worth it. Control the rub, which has regen. It's two less army class, but fine. Ooh, Frigeration and Polymonics. There we go. That's the amount of pulling off the gifts that I need. Nice. Get the Refrigeration. Um, what's this failure? 7%. I don't know. Sounds like I just get a little bit more ice magic than I guess, but... No massive hurry. Can I just refrigerate these dudes? Nice, that's doing the trick as well. Ooh, hey Rupert, he's got Holy Wrath. I think I better just kill him before he gets up to me. There we go. If I don't want him hitting me with Holy Wrath, that would be absolutely lethal. Uh, I don't know where Kirk's hiding. Oh, there she is. Um... Right, these guys are both actually a bit fast. Hmm. I see how it is. I've been slowed. I think this is fine. I'll just step back a little bit. There we go. Got the magic points to finish her off. Although, now that I've got, like, the, um... Like, all the, all the things like polyvonics and stuff, how much do I actually need to save party? Not that much. Oh, rope resistance. Um, hold up. <laughs> I don't actually need that. That's weird. But, uh, I mean, I get it fire this, but it's not that good. If it was wrong, just leave a rope resistance on the ground, because I'm usually, uh, usually so desperate to get the fire and cold resist. I might just go upstairs. Get some magic bag. There's, uh, there's a lot of guys just hanging around there. Oh, it's this level. Right, I see. That's not too bad. That just means uh, two of my seconds are not really that useful. Well, this one's alright. This is the guy to pull up that stayed within the freezing radius. What? Oh, it's too far away. The worst thing though is when there's this one, the third staircase is actually really close by. So you got kind of have all your staircases leading down to the group of monsters. But do you ever know, really, uh, really like the design of that area? Um, like going down into an area that's kind of surrounded. Because they're far enough back that you can kind of go back up and go down somewhere else. And some characters can just go down and find everything as well, which is kind of cool. I got Jinx by the Feeble. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll take them. Oh, wait, I should. What I should do is I should get just this one guy in view. There we go. That guarantees I go for the right one with the permafrost eruption. One more level of the dungeon, I've got to decide where to go after that. Also, do I have the enchant armors yet? I don't think so. Just notice my armor class is like sitting there on six, so it's looking a little sketchy. Oh, wait, that wasn't what I meant to cast. 
That's what I mean to cast. I mean, it's not gonna get the uh, breathing race when I do that one, but it gets everything else, so. That's what counts, right? No, I feel like Ice Magic is actually a decent spot at the moment, because it's got the Power Frost Eruption, which uh, does a little bit of irresistible damage. Oh, whoops, I keep on doing the wrong one. Hold on, let me rebind some spells here. <laughs> I spot the preferred duration on F. That way I can do just F to do the... Uh, I don't like this, I get a chance of magic. Oh. Well, it's just F to do the permafrost rupture, and then it's uh, ZF to do the refrigeration, which is kind of nice. Uh, well, actually, to be fair, I'm casting the uh, permafrost rupture off my quiver, so I'm just casting it with uh, like P the majority of the time. Oh, we got Vise, Summon Forest, Swiftness, Summon Small Mammals. I mean, probably not. I feel like I've got the majority of the spells they're going to get actually gifted to me in that one book that had the refrigeration and the polar vortex in it. Um, where do I want to be? Spiders or Swamp? Uh, I got everything I need to do in the Swamp, right? A Wave of Frost? That's fine. Yeah, I guess I can go over there. I do have good cold resist. I do do predominantly cold damage, which is what I'm worried about with the wave of frost. Not sure I can like uh, get any other forms of damage to keep me going there. Right, so I want I'll get a little bit more ice magic actually, like twenty two, to try and get that uh, the other cubes refrigeration down from six percent fail. So I might have to set the channels of magic. Should head back to the staircase and just get my magic points back instead of wandering around further and further into that level. Alright, uh... I do have the Vile Clutch. I guess I can do some damage to things that are immune to cold. Also, refrigerating these guys makes a lot of sense. I was doing something. Oh. Hold up, we're not channeling in magic. Oh. You see, it's both a... Uh, oh, that's fine. I just want to, like, line them both up so I could hit them both at once, but it wasn't quite happening. Uh... Crackling, so I got time. Uh, what was it? It was, yeah, it was just, it wasn't like desperate crackling or anything along those lines. I've got single the ring of ice, which is fine. Magic power is fine. I kind of do one of the potatoes at some stage, but they're not the most important to put on. Uh, I might have been a inventory room. I guess I got three, but I might draw the javelins. You know what? I might draw the scale mail. I don't know. Not that impressive. What's the spell you had for killing things? The HBO's Vile Clutch. Oh, I see. Whoa. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, no, that's not where I want to be. Oh, no. Um... That's absolutely not where I want to be. What do I have? What is this? Oh, Spring Defender. I'll try the healing potion. Heliport scroll. Okay. Oh, they will brown me again. I hate this. Okay, I've got myself in big trouble. Um... Can't use the fear on these guys because they're all like harmless undead guys. 
tight spot in Charles. So no one knows this is really tight. Um, I don't like how this is friggin' defender. These guys are bad as well, right? Anacondas. Magus, yeah, I, I mean, this is definitely, uh, definitely not good. Um, I'm gonna try a healing potion, but I'm worried about this. Oh, I lost health. Man, that blink is still on recharge. I don't have a blink scroll either, which is what I'm worried about. Okay. Telepod's probably still got a couple of turns, so I'm gonna try another tier, like, oh, thank goodness. It, uh, it took me back a little bit. Don't be travel slower than me, I see. This is okay, but I think I'm gonna start another teleport. I'm just kinda of worried here. Um How fast is this dude? Oh, so fast. I read a something scroll. That's not gonna work. I was hoping I'd get back to the staircase, but, um... These dudes are fast. Oh, I think I can get out of here, but, um... I think I might need a healing potion before I get out of here, actually. Okay, that will, that'll do the trick. I think I better just leave. That was kind of a disaster, but I'm out of there, at least. Oh, man, that was a, yeah, that was a big disaster. Alright, but... I'm out. I was glad those teleports actually weren't terrible. Ooh, enchant armor. You can do something. How much do I need this hat? Quite a bit. I think I might enchant the hat. Oh, the gloves were not effect. What are the boots? What about the boots? Why have I just left the boots on the ground? Okay, let's go grab the boots. It's probably worthwhile. I can enchant those up as well. Alright, was well, it? I think I was in the swamp doing that one for a bit. It's interesting how the swamp gets a letter S, because there's a lot of S branches. Also, the swamp the initial one, or how does that work? Because Spider gets like N, right? Everything gets its own separate letters. The swamp manages to take the S. Oh, hey, thanks for following, uh, Bailey. I appreciate that one. Uh, hope uh, Crawl's been treating you well. I hope it's been giving you better ice caves than it gave me. I mean, to be fair, this character is not great at ice caves because they are relying predominantly on ice spells to deal with ice creatures. Never really gonna work, right? Alright, let's, uh, let's go downstairs to the swamp here. Oh, bring this guy upstairs, I guess. Oh, I just lost a Minotaur Berserker to Zot 8? Because you got... Oh, Zig Ace. Zig Ace, because you got super greedy. Doing a Ziggurat. No, I've always found the, the melee characters a lot harder in the Ziggurats. I once did a Ziggurat with a pure melee character that had no spells, and it was a real struggle to get through it. Um, whereas with spellcasters, I managed to do some pretty... Uh, well, I've gone all the way through a Ziggurat, done multiple Ziggurats in a single run before with spellcasters. Because uh, the melee characters just don't have a lot in the way of, like, good AOEs, right? Alright, what are we doing? Yeah, this guy's trying to sneak up to me by teleporting next to the trees. Also, I don't fly right now. If I can fly, that might be worthwhile, but I don't know if I can. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, I'm still pretty new to the game, so you're not, uh, so you're learning what works and what doesn't. Should have gone on like level 6, yeah, the first few levels don't tend to be too bad, but it's always a risk with the, um, the ziggurats. I mean, I've, I've definitely looked through like mutation potions and ones before, but there's always a risk that you get like a pandemonium lot on the first level or something. Uh, it's not a huge risk, but it's definitely still there. What I got here? Mutation. Uh, no, nothing I really need there. Regen? What am I wearing? I'm still wearing that accent reflection one. I think I might just keep with the accent reflection one. The reflection not that much in here, but the extra 5 shield value helps. Because I do have a good shield on this character. That could be a problem this guy. 
I got to have channel magic, aren't I? I almost took it out without the channel magic, which is why I didn't start immediately with the channel magic. I thought I might take it out without, but not quite. Alright, refrigerate these dudes. There we go. I feel like this character's actually got a really nice mix of spells. Yeah, I'm loving Ice now. I'm gonna play so many Ice Elements, I think. Just because it's just like one spell was all it needed. It's one spell that can damage things that are like uh, immune to Ice. That's all the dice needed to make it actually into a good school. I mean, I know like some people like the old version of Ice, uh, well, the version of Ice without the spell, but I was never into it. They should refrigerate these guys, they kind of spread out. And there was a while where like uh, refrigerate was really busted, so even if you weren't a, like an actual ice elemental, it's still, still worth getting, but it did get uh did get reduced in power. Oh wait, did I fail to channel magic? Oh I did. Oh I failed again? Oh come on. Yeah, that's a bit better. I should maybe get that a little bit more reliable. I mean uh, what is this chance of failure? I think it's 27%. Uh let's go check. 26%, yeah, definitely should get that more reliable. Oh. Hey, it's Rabble. How's it going? Have you tried the new permafrost eruption spell? Like, even the nerfed one is really good. Um, because it does do non-cold damage. So it's uh, a source of non-cold damage, which is all these ice elementals needed to make them good. But no, it was, the nerf was bound to be mild, it was like minus 20% damage, but it, it needed the nerf because it was pretty, it was pretty ridiculous before, but now I think it's in a pretty good state. Uh, yeah, there's always been the problem with like elemental schools, like the, well, non-earth ones. It's always hard to get your non, um, non-elemental damage spell so that you can actually hit things that are immune to elements. I might need to channel magic because there's a, there's a fellow ghoul here, ghouls are pretty tough. Oh wait, refrigerate doesn't do a whole lot, does it? Ah, oh, challenge the magic to get rid of these guys, but that's all right. Whoa, hey, the Hydra. I still don't have a lot of armor class, but it has gone up since I got the boots. Uh, it's gonna take the water, isn't it? No, it's not. Because it's faster than meanwhile in water, but uh, because it will slow, it'll be slower than meanwhile out of water. Okay, I'll just refrigerate these, get rid of both of them. So it's an identify scroll that I can... Oh wait, do I have an acquirement just sitting in my inventory? I can identify... Oh, lignification, that's fine. But it looks like I've just got an acquirement sitting here. So we've got Resist Corrosion Rampage Ablet. Book of Cadrips or some money. I mean, Apportation's fine. I could grab that. I don't need a rapier of speed. Do I need a Resist Corrosion? I mean, vaguely. That's a scarf of resistance. I don't know. What else does it do? Shadows, which... No, Rampage. Oh, that's not that good. Unless you go invisible. I don't know. I think that's just sitting there because there's no good items on it. Oh good, I finished with the swamp. I should actually, I should check on what Tannis is doing because he's meant to... We were going to play Baldur's Gate about now, I think. So I'm going to see what he's up to. Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. So I'm continuing my character I've got going here. There's some sort of ghoul ice element list. I can't remember exactly what they did. I know they permafrost eruption people, and also apparently refrigerate people. So hopefully that's all I need to remember about them. Let's go to the spider nest. See what, uh, wait, when does, when does it stop? Go to spider nest? I believe that's where I'm up to. All right, I can freeze things. Oh yeah, seems to work just fine. I can permafrost eruption, which also seems to work just fine. The permafrost eruption did get nerfed, but 
Charles doesn't seem to matter too much. Ah, I gotta go off about the magic. Though I can channel him more with Sif Mana, which is something at least. Alright. Did I have the blink spell? Yeah, it did. I saw this character might have that one. Mm. Wasn't supposed to be the spider web, but that's fine. But it never lets me out. Whoops. Walked one too far there, but that's fine. Alright, I gotta, gotta remember exactly what my spell died. I should refrigerate things when they're spread out like that. And then when there's just a uh, one guy or a group of guys that grouped up for the Power Frost, they should hit them with that. I don't know if there's been any new changes, but I know it did get nerfed a little while back. Okay, my Ice Magic's doing good. Earth is doing good. Um, hmm. What spells am I even trying to get going? I mean, I might just get like, myself like, a little bit of evocation, because I think I've got some wands, right? Got a condenser vein, a lightning rod. Yeah, got some stuff. Some acid wands. Okay, let's go to the exit here. Get my magic points back. Okay, let's look at spells. I know I had Paul of Odex, right? Was I trying to get that? Oh, it's 83% failure. You know, if I just bring spellcasting up by one, then, um, yeah, I can probably get Paul of Odex pretty soon. Which would definitely be nice. Oh, I gave it to the wrong spell there. I meant to be hitting these guys with a permafrost. I think with this just uh, like one guy or something. Uh, oh. I got out of channel magic, but that's fine. Kind of used to having to channel quite a bit of magic on this character. It's not a big deal. What was my amulet anyway? Reflection? Uh, I guess that's something. Because I do have a shield, so it's helpful. Oh, that's definitely a refrigerate kind of area. Yeah, with well, the semi-lacrum down, I definitely got a permafrost because the um the refrigerate can't even damage them. So I've got to be really careful with semi-lacrums that get next to me. That's the uh, uh, main problem with this place for this character. All right. Oh, out of magic points. Oh, well. Thought I might be to kill those before I ran out, but the spider death loves to swab you. Oh, no. Power's leaking away. I just gotta... Wait. I just gotta... I gotta refrigerate one, so then I gotta permafrost. There we go. Because the permafrost can hit the invisible thing. Hey, I killed the ghost moth. Can I actually go invisible, though, with this character? Oh, I've got five invisibilities. I can. Good. Because then I can go invisible, I can channel into magic, and then the ghost moth can't do much about me. Um, it's kind of a backup. Alright. Ah, it got up to me. What's my blink spell? Get away from the simulacrum, hit him with some more permafrost. I think it's like half damage on the, the permafrost, so it's not perfect, but... When I'm hitting the simulacrum, it's for something. Drain the melee. They either work really well, like they don't do the status chance at all. Oh, what's next to me? I think it's gonna stay next to me, so I'll just refrigerate it. How's my uh mercy resist electric? But all my other resists are like super good right now. Alright, how's it go with identify? Uh got a lot of these potions are berserk rage. Apparently I can't go berserk to go. That because I'm undead. I guess so, which is actually fine. What was this requirement? It's probably nothing useful. Yeah, it's just like a book of cantrips or something. Or for the body. Should I ever need that one? Alright. Okay, there's another book. Nice, but I should definitely be oh, trying to hit this guy with some power frost. Did that do no damage to the guy or something? Maybe it just didn't do enough physical damage, because I don't think it can mess with the power frost. Okay, still has something's changed. Alright, refrigerate these guys, go upstairs. There we go. I like how I'm using more than just one spell, because sometimes you get characters that are just kind of the like, one trick character. No, this character actually has a couple of spells that they use regularly. Uh, I don't really, I occasionally use Blink as well, but I don't use much else apart from that. Oh, go up, I guess.
All right. Yeah, I gotta refrigerate again. Um, what's my biggest defense on this character? It looks like it's shield value, so I gotta be careful if you put in webs. So shield just straight up doesn't function in webs. Yeah, I don't have a lot of aviation at all. I guess I haven't trained that. And my armor cost is fairly suboptimal, but that's fine. Am I missing any slots? No, I think I got everything. Right, I see. I mean, I'll check for better shields, because I could just give a go with the shields. No, it looks like Kai Shield's the best this character's got. What's my other branch? I think it was, uh, it wasn't the spider of this. It was a swamp, right? Wait. No, Sapers. Yeah, Sapers would be exclusive with the um, spider nest anyway, so it would have been the swamp or something. It doesn't actually matter. It would have been somewhere with shields anyway. Well, sometimes you can get uh, Louise or something, give you a shield, but not always. I love how, like, very little things are resistant to cold here. I know some guys, but it really does make, uh, things easier for me. Also, I should maybe go check on the polar vortex, see if it's making any progress towards being castable. So I know getting one of those up can make a pretty di big difference. Um, it's 80% castable. I can light it, but it's not really castable yet. That's fine. I'll give it a little bit longer and it should be perfectly castable. Oh, that's a lot of spiders. You know, at the same time as well, the, the Tardell ones that love to confuse me. Okay, what's my rigs? That's not the right button. I've got magical powered ice. So it's not that special. Huh. I can probably drop one of those ice. I think two ice is probably a bit much. Um, I mean, I could maybe make... Actually, I could kind of do that with my character with this. I don't know. Go straight into the whole power side of the spells. I mean, it's definitely something I could do. All right, what do we got here? We're going to Glaive or Resist Electric. He has two-handed. Is there anything better for Resist Electric? Because I wouldn't mind something of Resist Electric. I'll see what uh, things are available. I can't remember with this character. Oh, just a Glaive, apparently. I mean, Tundogs might not be too much of a problem. I don't think they target shields, so I'm not sure. I know they target evasion, definitely. Hmm. I don't think I've ever blocked a Thundog. I'm just trying to think. Okay, that needs refrigerating. Ah, it's way better. Just to instantly get it down to the one dude. Trident of Resist Fast Anti Magic. I'm never going to be able to use an anti magic item anyway. Hey, okay. Evocation's where it needs to be. So let's get the Ice Magic out to 26, I think. I haven't thought of what sort of title I want to get with this character, but I don't think Ghouls have a unique ice title, unfortunately. Um, they do have a unique fire one, though, but I don't know if I can do that. Row of, uh, I don't care about a row of fire resist. I have one fire resist charge. Uh, that's not a big deal. Oh, that's right, this character has a lot of ice items, because i got the Staff of Ice on, I've got the Ring of Ice on. Yeah, I mean, I wonder my spells are so buffed up. Alright, uh, I might just get a little bit closer and freeze these guys. There we go, that's way better. What am I wearing? Am I wearing a scarf of resistance or something? Oh, I am too. No wonder my resistance is so good. Yeah, because I couldn't quite see a cloak on this character, but I was having trouble seeing where my scarf was as well. Because I think it's a green staff, scarf, I mean, or the green um, troller robber. Oh, what's that? It's lying on the ground, because usually it's a chaos weapon with the ghosts. That was a Glock Triple Crossbow, as well as I Fowl's Ghost. They're a Coglin Berserker of Trog. Ooh, 39 damage plus heavy, that's gonna hit really hard. They don't have a lot of health, they do have two Coral Resist. No, I don't think that's a good idea. It'd be nice to look at what the Cloak is, um, because I only need Fire Resist or whatever I got. Actually, no, it's not even an artifact, but it wouldn't have Fire Resist. But yeah, if I've had a cloak of fire resist, like would definitely swap out my scarf of resistance because I think my cold resist is well and truly maxed. <laughs> I 
Because I get one for my stuff, I get one naturally, I get one for my ring of ice, is there another source? Yeah, and one for my scarf of resistance, so I got way too much. Alright, anyway. Do we need to retreat back, but I gotta kill the... Actually, I just gotta keep killing these guys. I don't think retreating back is an option. Especially with all those top snails around. Ah, gotta challenge some more magic. There we go. Okay. Let's refrigerate once more and I'll go up. There we go. And got rid of everything that was surrounding the staircase. That's a nice thing with uh, Sith Mata though. If you get stuck out in the open, you just channel magic. And then you're completely fine. Uh, refrigerate once more. Just try to clear out all the things on screen so that when I go down there isn't too much around me. Though it doesn't seem to help that much. There's quite a lot of guys on screen when I came down. This is the last level? Okay. There should be lots of creatures in theory on this level, but... I was just seeing fairly normal densities of creatures. They're probably all in the boss chambers. Sometimes they uh, have trouble getting out of the boss chambers. Other times they kind of... Or just seep out of the boss chambers because the stairs are right nearby or something. So I've got unidentified stuff. So I've actually got quite a lot of unidentified stuff. I don't think to enchant with the enchant. I mean, I could do the troll on the rub, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's the ideal thing to go with. Um, see if that'll save you for a shield. Oh, it's fire resist willpower? Hmm. Willpower's fine right now. Also, why do I have a ring of slaying? That's obviously going to be pretty useless. Let's go identify. I mean, it's two of everything. It doesn't really matter which one I do. Immolation? Nice. Yeah, good, good enough. Fire resist. I should be able to do that. Also, how's this octopode ghost look? Do they head really hard or are they fine? 36 damage. They got no cold resist. I think I just popped this open. Ah, okay. So much for blinking away from them, but that's fine. Hey, that's a little better. And I can also get to identify Torment, which because I'm a ghoul, I can actually use. Alright, get frozen, guys. I haven't seen a ghost moth yet, which is kind of nice. Otherwise, I would have. I had to drink an invisibility potion because there was just too many other guys around that I don't think I could kill a ghost moth normally there. Like, this character can- Oh, I'm gonna have to channel some magic. This character can, uh, kill ghost moths normally. Like, if they're on their own, because all my spells, like, don't need me to be able to see them or anything. They just gotta hurt. Alright, I'm gonna- No, I won't blink. I think I'll just give a freezing this guy. Actually, try and get this round the corner a bit there, blink. I just don't want to blink, like, further in. Is what I'm worried about. Polvotic's not there, but I can't get this guy with... Just get him with a bit of that. Um, but with the eruption, they could try and root it in place so it doesn't get next to me. There we go. But I gotta remember that I can root things in place, because that's kind of handy when my uh, permafrost eruption won't hit things that are next to me. Pretty sure this character doesn't have any magic regen. I've got health regen from my uh, troll of Rama, but yeah, I put it on a reflection apple instead because it was kind of a nice one. I don't remember exactly what it did. I know it gives a few magic points. Uh, let's pull this guy around the corner. I should be able to hit it. There we go. Oh, I'm on fire. That's fine. <laughs> I was wondering why I wasn't letting me rest. Like, I don't see anything there. So it's just on fire. Oh, um. Ah, oh, the ghost moth. I gotta have to do a bit of visibility potion, but I got one of those. I'll be fine. It's next to me, isn't it? Is it even still alive? Don't know, but I'm gonna challenge some more magic. I think it's dead now. At least I'm invisible, so I sure hope it's dead. Why did I step in that web? That was a little silly of me, but oh well. You know, the one is actually kind of helpful because it sometimes lets me bring out um stuff. Oh, it's a hand of intelligence. It lets me bring out the clouds. What's my current hand? Half of willpower. It's only two intelligence and it's only a plus one hand. I don't think it's that worthwhile. Wait, you have to identify another scroll. Uh, brand weapon and poison. I can drop the brand weapon. I'm happy with... Oh, actually, I'm, it's not really a brand that I can rebrand. Um, yeah, because you can't rebrand the stuffs, weirdly. An Orb of Guile? 
Not really that sort of character, but anyway, I got my second rune. So, I will check for resistor Electric, but I think I'll, yeah, I'll be heading into the vaults without it. That's okay. It's not ideal. Alright. Trolls are fine. Doesn't seem to be doing too much damage to me, but I gotta remember that my physical defenses are not quite there with this character. Uh... Whoops. Ah! Target the wrong spot there. I do have a reflection, which is nice to get those archers, because I feel like archers could be one of the problem things for this character. Uh, there's also got to be some chance I can get mined, because I think my willpower is sitting on three pumps. It kind of needs to be up around four to start those guys marking you fully, but with three pumps it should be pretty good. Let's check. Yeah, 9%. I mean, it's going to happen, but it's not going to be happening all the time. Especially with how quick I take those guys out. Uh, oh, got up to me, that's fine. Sorry to using ice against the ice guys, but those ice guys, um, the frost hearts, I don't think they're actually at all resistant to cold, so it actually works fairly well. Also, the pole vaulting is 43% failure. I reckon by the end of vaults, I had that usable. And then I can head into the elven halls with, uh, pole vaulting, which would be kind of fun. I can't find these fire this rings, I don't feel like I need them. Two fire this is plenty in here. But you don't really need fire this in here. I mean, having one fire this is nice, because you do get the lid worms, and you also do get Marjorie and stuff. But Marjorie and X2 will probably make it kind of nice to have at least one. But, I don't know, I've definitely had characters go through the vaults without fire this. Who's that? It looks like a ghost. Rissier's ghost. Well, they do. What are they? Oh, they're Deep Elf Condro of Sif Mana. Hey, a fellow Sif Mana worshiper. They got Firestorm. Wow. I mean, they are a Deep Elf, right? Deep Elves can get their spells pretty early, but man, Firestorm. Because that's a dual school spell, so it should be harder to get online than my Polar Vortex. And I'm. Well, I'm 38% fail on my Polar Vortex, but that's kind of crazy. They must have gone like all out of getting their spells castable or something. Alright, what have we got? We've got less of anything teleport out there. Any spells I'm trying to pick up? I mean, eventually I'll probably get some shadow, I think. Because that generally works... Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Generally works fairly well. Ah, oh, one of these doesn't quite in view. I'm probably going to get my magic points drained by Norris, but I'll try and challenge some more. Oh, I failed. Oh, I was thinking 5% failure on that one. Huh. Okay, that's doing pretty well. So actually when I'm standing in the water like that, it makes it way easier to take him out. Um, ooh, that guy's holy wrath. I might head back to the staircase, but I don't want to be coming back down next to that guy. Hopefully I can kill out there we go. Now I can go up with, uh, no problems. Yeah, gotta really watch out for, like, menace or something, because, well, he always does a lot of damage, um, against your ghouls and mummies. Why does that shield? Looks better than mine. Plus two? Yeah, I think that's better than mine. Why just swap it upstairs? Because my one's plus zero, I think. Hmm, yeah, it is. Excellent. Oh, um. What guy goal is, in fact, cold resist? I might just step back a little. Okay. Woo! Hold up. I'll hit me with some metal splinters? So, okay. I see what it did to me. Oh, the polyvortex isn't quite there. I'm gonna try and vile clutch this guy. Ah, oh, come on. These last a little bit longer. If I not get the power on this. There we go. It's the only thing of view. I can get rid of it. Okay. This is fine. I mean, this guy's gonna freeze the walls around me, but I got three cold resists, so it's not too much of a big deal. Not the guy for me to deal with. <laughs> hey, just keep on coming, but uh, apparently in a rate where I can deal with them without challenging magic. Man, this reflection's been way more effective than I thought it should be, but um, I won't complain about that. Alright. Yeah, I mean, 80 shield value's not terrible. I've got to refrigerate these guys, otherwise I'm not going to hit the one I want to. Uh, 
pull these back a little bit. Good, it's just kind of working. This is a matter of what's the most efficient to take those guys out without running me out of magic points. Oh, right, it's too far away. Hey, 26 ice magic, but the polar vortex is not quite there. I might actually get some spell casting up to like 16 maybe. So minus two out you, which is not ideal. Uh, the gold thing is like fighting and shields value and stuff that I want to get, but... But now this is not too bad. I should just refrigerate that guy. Alright, next level. How far off is the polar vortex? Actually, if I get... If I get some shield skill at the same time, that will also help with my casting. Ooh, Arcane Power? Did I have a... I do have Revelation. I might just Revelation my way to that one. So it's, uh, it looks like it's down to here. Yeah, it's the only option. I know some of these wood slabs aren't very worthwhile, but other ones are quite worthwhile. So we'll see which one I get. Uh... I can probably afford to rest to get my magic back instead of adding Chalet. Oh. Hey there, Stereon. Get somewhere I can refrigerate you. He's not going to do so well, though, because he relies uh, a bit on his shield, and his shield's not going to do a lot. Yeah, there we go. Well, I don't think his shield's going to do anything, actually. I don't think he can block the permafrost eruption. I need the region. I don't need all the fire resist. I've got intelligence. That's actually probably worth using. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's do this. Instead of magic points, let's put on intelligence. See how that goes. Paul's Vortex on 17% failure. Okay, well that's not too bad. Uh, probably gonna channel a bit more magic points, but that's fine. I might drop the flame mod. Almost drop that sound. So having like minor or thing, I don't think I carry around the silly potions on this character. On the formal garden, that should be fine. There tends to be a lot of archers in the formal garden, but that's not too bad. Yeah, like all these guys. Especially with my reflection on that does help a bit. Ooh, a haste potion, nice. Why have I read all the books? Probably because I'm a Sith Mana. Okay, squishy elves, that's fine. How's this guy's chance of paralyzing me? 2%? Ah, oh, that's probably fine. That's wait, it can have you with agonizing touch? I thought I was immune to that. Usually it says immune if you're immune though. What's the agonizing touch do? Isn't that just like agony except on a range to melee range? Uh Cuts a Jason creature's health in half. Yeah, I should be immune to that, be the goal. Um, hmm. Instead of saying 5%, I should say immune, but oh well. So what does that number after mean? Is that the level of the spell or something? It paralyzes a 7 after. I don't actually know what that means. Oh, yeah, it's another fence right of which. Uh, what's it even carry around? Let's carry around something. No, no I'm gonna refrigerate this dude. Because I'm not gonna get it with the cross that's too far away. Alright, so it's got a Staff of Earth. That's what it is. I might pull one of those out of here, just in case I decide to use it later on. Because there will be some branches that this character does. Oh, I've got lignification? Okay. Well, I saw lignification. Uh, there will be some branches that this character does. Would be really nice to have um, Shadow going. Alright, what's the book? Manifold Soul, Fold of Person, Foxfire. I don't think I'll really be using those spells, so I think that's fine to leave. I don't think I can get a mess about this fruit. You per peruse the fruit pile and shrug. Yep, that's, uh, that's goals for you. Don't like their fruit. I don't see any meat piles here, do I? That's what ghouls tend to eat. Uh, heal wounds, invisibility, magic potions, those are all good. I don't really be using the magic potions. Um, I don't know if I need to bring Dean Blade up here. Because I've got Sif Mata, but they're still good. Because um, the channeling brings it in over time. So if you don't do it in time, then it's uh, really nice just to be able to drink a potion and get it all at once. I'll bring a demon trident out of here. I don't know, I just always bring those out of here just in case a trove wants them. I don't remember if this character had a trove or not. Uh, I probably don't need the Staff of Conjuration, but I'll pull it out anyway just in case. 
is helping Ava decide to go with. Alright, I think I'm done with this place. This pile of stuff up over here. Uh, troves. Let's see. I've got... No, nah, don't see any troves on this list of stuff. Oh, what were the gloves? Uh, stealth. What are mine? Plus one gloves with two fires. There's no one in my fire this fight. And willpower? Yeah, I mean, those gloves are staying on. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd have a hard time finding a replacement for those. I think they're my only fire this right now as well. Which is actually fine, because I get two, so... If I had to have those, my only fire resist for the rest... Actually, they can't be, no. I've got scarf resistance as well, but I've also got a minus fire resist. Is this guy just electrocuting himself? That's what a silly of Nicola. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was blowing up himself and his friend. Because I was too far away that the chain lightning did not to me. Just refrigerate... Uh, I can blow up good both of those. Oh, out of magic. I'll just jail up, whatever. Doesn't matter. Man, I love Sif Mana. I didn't use to light them a lot because they don't help you get your spells online. So, in a lot of ways, for humans, better early on, but I don't know. Just having infinite magic. Well, not quite infinite, but a lot of the way there. It's just so fun. Uh, what's this guy got? Badish, okay. He had to blow them up all at once, but I'm still a bit worried. There we go. That was kind of a nasty little ambush. Um, I'm just checking that they didn't have Holy Wrath or something, because that would have made that situation way worse. Ow. Go just retreat back, but I don't have any magic regen, so I'll just retreat for quite a while. Oh well. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, I'll refrigerate again. Yeah, just take them completely out there. Hold on, the polyvonics has got to be usable. 14%. I gotta try and take this guy out with the Paul of Onyx. What do I put that on? J. You know what? I'll put it on A. Oh, that's not it. Spells. J and A can be swapped around. Ah, oh, that seems to be working. Takes out all the stuff next to me. Alright. Hey, level 21. Of course I'm going to get intelligence. In fact, this character's strength is exceedingly good. Why? Oh, seven strengths for my amulet? No wonder. Oh, I went around that way. That's not the way I was expecting to go. Doesn't matter. Just getting it that close will stop it doing its uh, lightning on me, which is nice. Oh, no. It dropped the floor. Is it going to put me in the middle of here? That looks fine so far. Right. Hey, it's Sally! How's it going? Hope you've been uh, going well. I might start a polar vortex. There we go, go to Boris. What's he got? He's got a fire resist, minus cover resist, willpower, armor. Hmm. Do I need the willpower? Uh, I don't know. I don't need the this negative on it, but. Okay. Didn't need the resist corrosion. It's not the best thing ever. What I really need to do is find myself some resist electric. Everything else is kind of where it needs to be, I think. How's the run going? This one's going pretty well, Sally. So I, I started this one actually a while back. Um, trying to remember what I was doing, but I know I'm doing all the ice spells. I really love the new pump frost eruption spell. Just giving me something that's not cold damage is nice. Well, not 100% cold damage, because it is still... Mainly cold damage. Did I get nerfed? Yeah, I got a minus 3% damage, but like, it's still... Still nice. Don't know if it's got any further nerfs, that's not what I know about. Uh, but that one was probably... I don't know, a good 5-4 days back. There's chances for more nerfs since I've missed. Alright, can I blow this guy up? There we go.
Should be. I thought there was a lead worm here. Oh. Well. Hey, there it is. I was just confused, wandering around, so it didn't notice me. But yeah, it kind of didn't need enough on the um the roof, uh the pub frost, but it's feeling it's feeling pretty good now. But it really does fill a, like a role that need to be filled of non cold damage for the frost mages. Um. I mean, they still start trying to struggle a bit against the whites and stuff, but once they get past that and get, like, get their permafrost eruption going, they're actually really good. Alright, can I just start a polar vortex? And these guys. <laughs> oh, the, they didn't let me rest, alright. Yeah, it's not massively efficient with the magic points. In fact, I'd say it's uh, extremely inefficient with the magic points, but... Hey. <laughs> That's fine. At least when you're with Sif says, All of the structure of this book of spheres, I probably don't need that. There's a... Um... Fireball, Conjure, Ball, Lightning, Bow Sphere, Braveling, Boulder. There's a lot of spells, actually, that are spheres now. Application? Do I have that? I don't know. Probably not. That's just summoning spells, which I wasn't trying to get into. Eventually I'll grab the apportation, but there's no massive hurry on it. That's probably just when I go into extend it, it'd be nice to grab pandemonium ruins and stuff. Oh, there's a expensive phantom mirror. Wow, okay. And there's a there's a spiders as well, but I really gotta put both of these on a summoning. Um I do so many AoEs, how good are the summoning kinds type stuff anyway? I feel like a lot of time I'd be hitting my own guys, but maybe it'll be fine some of the time. Oh, come on. Don't miscast on me. Ball of is a good time. Yeah, it's really good once the creatures get up to me. Uh, in fact, I should start one here. Oh, um, yeah, I do want to step back. Okay. Guys mined up, unfortunately. It's pretty sketchy. Oh, my blink did not put me away from it. Um, I can't refrigerate it. The polymonics can do some damage to it. I can try and vile clutch it, but I'm not sure about this. Oh, good, it died from the polymonics. Nice. Why is this level not fully explored? Did I thought I found it a shaft and then just kept on exploring, didn't I? Might as well make sure this level's done. Electric Dragon. You don't see a lot of those ones around. Oh, what is this? Whatever it was, it died. Was it the Lord Cyprica? Who knows? It was it definitely took cold damage. It was somebody that could take cold damage. Construct damage was nasty? Yeah, definitely. Because I don't do great damage against them when they get next to me. It was basically just relying on the Polar Vortex to take out some minor constructs. Um, alright, I wasn't going with the magic point rings, even though I do get short of magic points, I'd rather just buff up how much power this character has. Oh, more guys. Uh, oh wait, there's the fifth level, let's not do that. So, more power's alright. Alright, well I guess I go to the Elven Hall and see if they have any good rings or something for me. Uh, entrance wasn't too bad. I wonder if there'll be more guys that go down. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's one of the relatively tame entrances because they vary a lot in how tame the entrances are to various branches. Also, oh, behind glass, so I can't actually hit it. And these elves are not too bad because they're all like really squishy, so they just kind of die. I, mean, I do have to be careful they're getting close to me or hitting me with too much electricity or something, but that's about it. Yeah, that's fine. I seem to remember, like, previously, back before I so much as even got the permafrost, the, um, what's it called? The Ozacubus refrigeration absolutely slaughtered everything. So, shouldn't have too many problems. Apart from maybe the Hall of Blades, they probably shouldn't do that one. I thought it was 
Thermic dynamos, what are they called? They're immune to elemental damage, unfortunately. So I guess that's another elemental immune thing. Oh, there's chain lightning? No, I probably don't need that. Moment of strike, I definitely don't need. Hey, got the door to get opened eventually. Right, oh, fire resist, cold resist, resist negative. Um, hmm. I dropped the old fire resist ring. Resist negative does nothing. I actually don't need the cold resist right now, so it's basically just a fire resist ring. But I'll keep it around. Just in case I ever somehow lose my cold resist. Oh wait, does that work? Yeah, it does. It can refrigerate their elemental. It's the earth ones that I think are just like immune to everything. Uh... What do I do against weapons again next to me? I mean, I got the polar vortex, but anything else that actually works against those? I mean, it's got the blinking spell as well, I guess. <laughs> there are options here. Man, just casting Ball of Onyx and just walking into the midst of all those guys is kind of funny. Technically, the refrigerator does something on these weapons. Is that two corridors or three? It's got to be two, right? Yeah, because the third one's an immunity, I think, for enemies. But not for players. For players, it's like, what, 80% resistance or something? I actually can't remember exactly how much it is. Like, Used to know, but I don't know, not anymore. Hey, it's an armor shop. I'll see what it's got. It's offering a scarf. I don't think that scarf could be anything useful. No, not really. All right, let's go downstairs. Uh-oh. Hmm. That's not a teleport. Got a polar vortex going. Um... Well, Love Trap could get set off, but also these guys are kind of bad. I hope this is not a bad idea, but I'm gonna... No, do I read a scroll size? I'm gonna put it to cancellation, right? Yeah, I do. I might actually read a uh, scroll of silence so I can survive these guys until the teleport goes off. There we go. That ah, wasn't too bad. I mean, it was pretty much a perfect teleport, so... Alright. Well, this shop trying to sell me? It's trying to sell me a cloak of... Oh, I don't need to resist points or resist negative. It's a plus two cloak, basically. Or a robe of flight, minus two strength, or a buckler, plus two. Now nah, that's not a very good, oh, uh, there's something here. Not the best job. Freeze something. Ah, oh, shapeshifter. It was probably an unseen horror shapeshifter, or something. Yeah, shapeshifter is always keeping on toes when you aren't entirely sure what it is that you're fighting. So much when they turn to unseen horrors. All right, what have we got here? Should be a ghost in here. Got Cornell's ghost. Tend you air elementalist of Hubert. The eye drone does one d one hundred twenty three no one hundred twenty four damage. Plasma does sixty twenty three. I don't even resist electric. I get absolutely slaughtered by that. I, mean, I don't think anything there can quite one hit me, but they can definitely two shot me. Alright. Uh, I gotta challenge the magic. I gotta run out otherwise. Whoa. Health is okay, but. Um... Yeah, it should be the same speed as this guy, so I can retreat up a bit. Challenge the magic. There we go. Hit the guy. Um, what skill do I need? I'll get some more fighting. I'll bring that up to like 15 or something. How's the pole vortex? It's already 9% failure. It's still got some failure on it. I mean, that probably just means I like, need more shield skill or something, right? So 
They can't think of another skill that would really help. That guy's got something. Rego of cold resist evasion. Uh, it's gonna be quite cold resist when I try hitting it, I guess. It's all that really means, because I probably don't need that ring. I mean, I guess I could drop one of my the basic evasion ones and pick it up, right? Uh, it's not the best spot for a polar vortex, unfortunately. This is kind of a narrow tunnel, but it's not bad for my other spells. Where's well, back up? This guy could haste itself, but probably not when it's at max view distance. No, whoops. Running myself out of magic points, of course. Hey, that guy's got Holy Wrath, but I'm not too worried. It's because it's just a mage. It's not a, um... What are they called? Blade Master or something? These guys. Deep Elf Blade Master. Yeah, if it was one of those, the Holy Wrath would be a bit more worry. Although apparently those die pretty easily as well. Because I guess they also rely on evasion like most of the elves. Oh, it's Mage and Bow. Um, that's more like Spell Vamp. It's interesting. I'll take a look at it. Wait, there's a row of vines as well on the ground somewhere? Hold up. I don't think I need the face. Oh. I haven't seen it yet, but I must have just missed it or something. Oh, well, once I finish exploring this, I'll take a look at all the items like I usually do. Is that... Scale Bell Boredom, that's fine. He'll die. Thoughts of magic have got uh, axes which I won't use. Ice magic which I'm basically done with. Oh, I have a whoop. Hold up. Hold up. I've got a hand of whoop. So I got 11 armor class. That's supposed to go stealth. I think this is just straight up better. Ah, oh, still 11 armor class. Yeah, I mean, it's still, uh, still stealth. Oh, I can't wear the Black Knight spotting. Think a rogue vines, mage, and bow combo? That's what you'll think of. That'll be um That'd be interesting. It'd almost like be playing a genie or something, almost. Let's see. So what have we got? Oh we do have the rogue of vines. Hmm. Yeah, let me think about that. Might actually be not a bad idea to use. Once I get off my current robot, it's getting regen or something off my current one. I lose a little bit of armor class, I think, putting this on. But I kind of want to use it. Like, how often do you find this robe, right? Uh, what do I carry around? Water flame. That's probably it. That's a more jar of in case I ever find, like, a better shield or something. <laughs> oh, still nothing. All right, let's try this on. So, got 11 armor class, got 10 armor class. That's actually not too much, uh, not too much worse. But it means I can't use my healing potions, but it also means I heal up really fast. Kind of tempted to give this a go. I'll try out the major bow. Does spell vamp actually work with, the uh, polymodix? Not sure. I'll give it a try anyway. Um, but I would lose some power in my spells, like 70% power from the polyphotics. So yeah, get the end, which might help. 77% power, yeah, it's not actually too much of a loss. Alright, let's give this a try. So let's go to... Depths? Alright. Uh... Whoa. Alright, can I just get this guy? There we go. Just have to step up a little bit. The Polybotix killed it. That one's holy wrath. It shouldn't matter. There we go. So we've got Book of Conjuration, Manual of Conjuration. Another Manual of Conjuration. Do I need some Manuals of Conjuration? Am I even going to get Conjuration? I don't think the plan was even to get Conjuration on this character. Um... Yeah, I was gonna do, I mean, I was doing Earth Magic, eventually, I actually got a little bit at the moment. I was doing Ice Magic, not as much else to get. Man, that looks like a little pocket of death in there with all those creatures. Okay, Fridge Rage, get rid of the Spriggan. 
The other guys aren't too bad, though. Uh... Oh, the Roman Willpower here, Boris. What, even our ice conjurations? Is there anything else in Freezing Cloud? Hmm. I don't know. I think it might just be Freezing Cloud. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, he's next to me. I'm gonna try and get him with a... Actually, I don't think the Vile Clutch will work, will it? Uh... Hold on, if I just blink away a little bit. There we go. There you go, rid of him. Yeah, I don't know if there's... I mean, you could get separate spells. You could try and get Firestorm or something if you really wanted to. Go both Fire and Ice, but... I don't think I will. How's Moth Root? Why haven't all the meat uh, catchers? Do I just not find them as a goal? I just do them to only find fruit? Alright, double level one of the depths. Let's go down. I love how I can just freeze those guys with like the polar vortex off as well as the refrigeration. It's just so effective. Um, I need more shields. That's definitely true. I think I need more spell casting as well. Oh, it's Boris again. Why don't you tell a little bit of magic? Oh, uh, feel like he's really resistant to cold. He's got yeah, he's got two resist to it. Oh uh, well. Hmm. I don't know how well that polar vortex is doing right now. I don't think it's doing that well. Surprised I haven't hit that wall yet, but. Oh well. Okay. We get a little bit more magic points. There we go. We get a little bit more magic points because there's this guy here, the freezing tub. Guys don't refrigerate very well, but I just gotta do it. Because what else am I gonna do to them, right? Alright. Hey, Archmagi robes, minus five strength? Oh, man. I don't know. I feel like I gotta try on these Archmagi robes. I know the... Oh, it's Rove Hedge Wizardry. I know the, my current one's doing pretty well for me, but I'm gonna put these on. I right, get more armor class. Unfortunately, I, I lose a lot of regen, but I'm gonna give it a try. See how it goes. All right. Brings me up to 83% power on the Polar Vortex. Major mode right thing to have, it actually seems fairly effective right now with the creatures I'm currently fighting. But eventually I'll probably not want the major bow anymore because I'll be fighting things with resist negative or something. Gotta remember not to like pull it into like crypt or something. Alright, bookshops. I probably learned most of these spells already. So the radiate, petrify. Apparently I don't have any blood. Oh, the Book of Spheres again. Book of Chaos. I don't know. Maybe this jewelry shop will have something good. Willpower, Flight. I don't think that's actually that good. I wouldn't mind getting even a Flight at some stage, but I don't think I'd grab it yet. Oh, it's a magical spellcasting. Yes, please. Well, that was definitely helpful, because I'm trading up the spellcasting, and I'll keep that one going until I get to a decent point. Um, You know, actually getting into Fire Magic would be the worst idea ever, but I think I won't. The basic reason I say it would be the worst idea out there is that there's a uh, special fire titles for ghouls that I was going to go for at some stage. Um. You know what, actually, if I... If I got Shatter, and then I went and did myself a Ziggurat, I might be able to max out fire skill and get myself the Searing Ranch title. Oh, he's got a Kaijin Protection. That could be worth using. So I gained two, no, three armor class, lose two shield value. That seems like a worthwhile trade-off. 
All right. Can't even just like freeze these guys. All right. There we go. Well, where am I dropping? So far this looks fine, it's just trolls, but you never know the depths what's going to come along. I can challenge the magic, so I don't trust this to stay at just trolls. Yeah, got a little bit of spriggans. Yeah, I definitely needed all the magic points I could get in that situation. Mm. I gotta challenge the magic. It's not gonna work otherwise. No, these guys are still reason to be healthy. Oh, uh, let's just there we go. Get back a little bit. Oh, what brain did oh, the eyeball didn't die? Cause that one's the uh, one that makes you frail, I think. I wonder if I'm fighting this entire level just for this one spot. Cause it kind of feels like it. Okay. Yeah, I'm even getting the recordings because this is level four. Uh, right. Whoa! Okay, that's quite a bit of damage. Now I'm worried. I don't even this road, do I? Um, I can't fear these guys because they're in the polar vortex. Uh, okay. My start with a little bit of resistance, but I'm gonna have to like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I can just refrigerate these guys. There we go. Yeah, I think the resistance was all I needed because I had no resistance corrosion before. That really didn't help out. That's what I was saying, but like, it might start as just trolls, but it wasn't going to stay as just trolls when I got shafted down to this level. Okay. Hold these guys back a bit. Uh, I'm refrigerate a little bit. There we go. Let's go to right. Oh. Dragon's gonna take a little bit more to take out. Hey, there we go. Because that's uh, got lots of cold resist. But I did uh, find a way upstairs, I do believe, right now. So I should be able to just head on up whenever I want to. But I should probably go back to the staircase. There we go. This is a level I'm meant to be exploring. <laughs> oh, hey again, Boris. Ow. Hit me with an iron shot? That's kind of rude. Ooh, how much can this orb of disruption do? 1919? Uh oh. But it'll be reduced. I think it's fine because it's reduced. Oh, might have hit a wall or something. I don't know. They don't seem to go massively straight, but I've got the polar vortex uh, going. Uh, the major bow is definitely noticeable. The health is giving me back from the living creatures here. Yeah, like it's uh definitely not insignificant anyway. Okay, put out the pole vortex, refrigerate what I can. It's basically everything apart from this guy that gets refrigerated quite well here. Um Did get close to me. I'll just do the polar vortex, I think. But I think in the corridors, the polar vortex doesn't do a whole lot of damage, which is a bit unfortunate. I 
All right, get back to the staircase. There we go. Oh, well, they got a book of fire makes sense. There could were kind of some fiery guys in there. Yeah, actually, they were kind of a mixture of guys. They're all the different elements. I don't care about those weapons. Unless I can give like an elemental stuff or something, I'm probably just going to be going with one of the basic enhancers. Um, well, for now, the major boat, but eventually one of the basic enhancer stuffs. That spring does have a straight up artifact robe on it. What does it actually have? Robe of harm. No, I don't care about that one. I like my Archmage robe. It's doing a good job. Okay. Refrigerate. South of Polar Vortex. Oh, I'm bringing that shell magic. All right. Yeah, pull this guy back. It's like almost dead. There we go. So I got a uh, rift book of cantrips. So I got apportation when I want that one. Hey, for to start my amount of spell cards, like, what am I getting up to? It's like 22 or something. I think I made a decent amount of progress. Um, I don't think there's a goal title for the for that is there. Let me just check on titles. So, unique titles. What's it go? It's like a GH or something. No, it's only the Searing Wretch one. Alright, that's fine. But I think I'll do my, I might do my ziggurat plan to get that one. Because it's, it's, like, it's actually kind of funny getting Searing Wretch on an Ice Element list of all things. Oh, it's this guy again. Let's try and blow it up. There we go. Yeah, the cosmic strikes are definitely uh, glass cannons against this character. Ooh. Okay. This is okay so far, but I'm going to have to retreat at some stage. Uh, ooh, Blink Hanger. What happened to those I got? I hope I got a good number of those. The character you were last playing was nice elementals, but you mostly use Fireball and Starburst. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just don't get the spells you want, right? You just gotta go with what you've got. Oh, I got the Fire Resist Gloves? No, these Cold Resist Gloves are useless. And then it's kind of a funny switch. Oh, the Staff of Fire to it? Cold Resist to Latric. That's a shame. Why'd have to be a Staff of Fire? Um, no, if that was a staff of ice, I would uh 100% put it on, but I'll keep it around as a source of resist electric. But I don't think it's something I put on right now, it might be something I had to put on a pandemonium or something, which would be a bit of a shame. Uh, I'm just gonna go up, get the magic points. Try that guy to move right next to me because they often do. When you go up the staircases. Man, I love how the spring just died to this character because I've had problems with springs before with these uh Goals. Well, I think it was actually a mummy carriage where I got one with a holy wrath weapon and absolutely slaughtered me. What's up with this staircase? It's like a god order or something? It's like a entirely separate piece of the level. Uh, okay, this is the entrance to hell. Don't see much else on this level. Yeah, there's so definitely an assortment of creatures here. Nothing too nasty, especially the numbers of them I'm getting. And a few ones at the end. Uh, it wasn't, uh, it was just, uh, I guess, a little extra entrance to hell if you wanted one. I need a polar vortex. There we go. 
Man, it's crazy that like one extra spell is all it needs to make a school like as the ice school from something I hardly ever touched and something I'm using half the time. What do I want to be? Do I just do vaults five? I gotta check. Do I have an escape hatch on the vaults? No. Hmm. I might do it, but I think I'll do the side bits as well. The problem is getting resist uh, resist corrosion, right? I got a basic ring for it, which I guess is something. Alright, um... I might read the teleport. It's the channel magic now, but these guys aren't going to live too long. Nah, polyvonics more off, okay, I see. Oh, uh, I should definitely have the channel magic going at basically at all times. So, Boris has harm, which... If that works for enemies, is kind of scary. Um... Okay. That's another dragon as well. Gotta keep on go with like go with. Hey, the Orbital Thrush got uh, deflected by my Ablet or something. Just kind of nice. Not that it'll be able to travel very straight anyway. Wait, why? Oh, something drained my magic watch. Anti magic hand cannon. Oh, I see what it is. Okay. There we go. The guy with the anti magic hand cannon's gone. That's uh. Well, it's a fairly important one to get rid of. It's channel magic, just in case. Yup, because there's... Oh, I failed. It's pretty much guaranteed to be more guys here. I should actually get some more, uh, more skill at channeling. My, well, yeah, channeling magic. Let's just get that up to 15, I think it should be good. As a Boris 80% run. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've had... How many Boruses is that so far? <laughs> I don't know, I got like... It's gotta be at least four of them, right? If I search for Boris, it doesn't does it show the robes he's dropped? No, it doesn't. That's a shame. It'd be nice to know how many Borises I've had this run, but yeah, it's definitely definitely a lot of them. I can't use the talismans, right? Although the actually kind of nice thing about this character is I can drink potions, so I might not want a death talisman on even if I could put one on. I think my willpower is like acceptable, sitting on three pups. Yeah, cold is good. So I kinda get a free uh Death Talisman. Hey there with Daz! You haven't seen a ghoul in a while? Yeah, I mean usually I don't like ghouls, but they do seem to make good ice elementalists. And now that Ice Elements is like good, uh, at least I like them. Might play a few more, although if I've already done one of uh, uh, Go Ice Elements, so I probably won't play any more. No, this is actually just seems like a decent combo. I like it anyway. It was a little bit hard to get started, but once it got the Power Frost and the Refrigeration going, it really took off. And the goals actually remarkably have pretty decent aptitudes at both Ice and um, Earth Magic, so... Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, that's not the best spot for me to be exploring. It might just, I just go somewhere else. Come on, uh, actually, I should end it with the that one. Get rid of it. I think about refrigerating it, but I think that was actually more effective. Not getting it with the refrigerator, getting it with a different one. Oh, the wild stuff. I got the major bow. Yeah, that was one hand. It's um, it's all right. I mean, I definitely wouldn't use it on every character, but it seems to be doing the trick on this character. Uh... Can I just smack this guy? Hey, there we go. I don't know if this does a lot with smacking in melee. They don't have any staff skill and salt based on my ice skill or anything. Is it a mace? No, I think it uh, used to be a quarter staff, but it's one-handed now. What is it? It falls into the staff category. Yeah, no, I think it's like its own special thing. Base damage 11? What's something like a Staff of Fire? Or Ice or something. 
Base damage 5. Hmm, interesting. So I think it's its own unique thing now. Wait, what's that actually? What's the damage of the quarter staff? Uh, apparently I spelled that wrong. Uh. Oh, I could just search for stuff that might give it. There it is. Base damage 10. Wait, it's got more damage than the quarter soft and it takes less hands? Oh, interesting. So it's actually maybe not the worst melee weapon ever if you wanted to spank a bit of the stops or something. Wait, base damage 11? Hold up. What is like a... I like a broad axe. Base damage 13, so it's not quite the same as a full-on weapon or anything. Still not half bad. Ooh, that guy's with a shield. That's what I wanted to see. I mean, I can't use it right now, but I was looking for a bigger shield at some stage. Which, of course, I can't carry. Let's drop the... Ah, drop that rope. I think I'm fine with my willpower, how it is. That's mainly what that one was about with this character, I think. Probably shouldn't rest with, like, the alarm trap in view. <laughs> it's not making sure to just go and stand it if I am resting with it in view. No, fine. I'll channel in some magic then. Uh, actually, it's not doing that much in melee. Because I don't have any skill. Go for three runes. Definitely go for one of the three runes of this character, I think. Because this character is fun. And I'm a ghoul, so I get uh, resistance to immunity, I mean, to torment anyway. Oh, the, there's a dazzling stuff, crystal plate armor, or cloak, I mean. I still got the, still got the one of resistance, which has been alright. Oh, I mean, that's an option. I don't think I'd be massively, like, uh, playing to this character's advantage or something using it, though. Oh, the bots on chat? Hold up, let me let me go get that bot going. Uh, whoops. Ah. Pressing all the wrong buttons here. Okay, long low bot. Good and long low bot. You never have so many buttons just to add the bot. I need like a... I need some sort of shortcut or something to add the spot. All right. Let's see how that command works. What is GID? G-I-D. Game key? A game ID? Interesting. Oh, there's more fixed starts now? I wonder what was this? Wait, what was it being added? I haven't uh, looked at the updates in the last few days. Oh, did I just pick up a Summon Hydra spell? It's not that good. Oh, those guys I killed at Holy Wrath because I just walked over a Holy Wrath weapon in the center of the map. Oh, it can't have been too bad, whatever it was. In fact, it would have been one of the bomb scars that died to the initial Polar Vortex that I did. Alright, am I... Oh yeah, the Polar Vortex 100% does uh, drain back health. That's nice. Because uh, there used to be a bug where it didn't, um, but that must have got fixed up, which is absolutely excellent. Uh, that's exactly what I want to see. In fact, I think a lot of things that didn't work with Mage and Bow got fixed up to now work, which is nice. I would take how many Boruses I've killed with this, just this character. Five Boruses? <laughs> that's kind of funny. I wonder what the max someone has ever killed Boris with. It's got to be quite a lot. But that's got to be, that's got to be up there with my max numbers of killing Boris. Um... Can I? Wait, can I do like... Uh... Can I do something like that? To figure out how many boards I've killed in each game? Ooh, I've done five... Wait, is that an order? That's probably not an order, is it? Um... 
Uh, how do I get that to sort by like highest count? Huh. It looks like it's been a number of games there where I've killed. Oh, maybe that is sorted. No, that is sorted by highest count. So, killing five boars since I've done that. Is it saying. Saying I've done that three times by the looks of it. Oh, it's always an order of count by default. Makes sense. No, it's probably, probably a sensible default. But I've never got more than five. Wait, what happens if I do it by. What happens if I don't just go with me? What happens if I go with everyone? Because that should tell me. How come does it get more than five Borises? Did I do that right? Uh, I don't think so. That's all me. Oh, I did a dot. What do I have? That's stupid of me. I meant to do a star. It'll probably take too long to compute or something, we'll see. I think there's a 90 second limit on how long commands they're allowed to run for. I did kind of... Uh, actually, you can do quite a few commands when you ask about all games. We'll see how this one goes. See if there's any pattern in who it's... Oh, it's, oh someone's killed Boris... 12 times Frustration Simulator? Wait, Frustration Simulator plays on my server 12 times killing Boris. Wow, okay. Most of them is 5, so that's kind of incredible. And then, uh... Violent Violent has killed him 11 times. Volrath, 10 times. Berry Knight, 9 times. I actually recognize some of those names. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely need to need to get more Boruses in one game though to keep up with some of those ones. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even quite get into the top ten or whatever that's showing me. All right, wait, why did my party go down? Did I challenge a ton of magic? I guess I spent a lot of time running around in circles in here. Although it should be a relatively monster dense area, so I was not expecting to lose party there. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Oh, that's the anti-magic hand cannon. Alright. Normal towel shield. I think I've done it here. Let's just go to... Do you want to do crypt for a while? I think I might go clear out the crypt. Um, I know my... Cold spells are probably not the most effective, but I'll give it a try. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you got charged to see Mr. Boris chance? Right. I guess that uh, doesn't help. What's a good starter for Coglin? Um. What Coglins have I done really well was? I mean, I actually kind of like the Hunters, even though it can be really hard to get two decent weapons. But even if you just have one sling and one uh, hand crossbows or hand cannon, it's not too bad. Another one is to go with, like, a couple of swords or something, or a couple of axes. Just be, like, a... I don't know. Anything really a monk for swords, I guess. Either. Yeah. Actually, I don't know what the fighter start with, actually, with Coglins. I don't know if i played a Coglin fighter. Probably have. But yeah, I definitely recommend a hunter. Those are actually quite a lot of fun. Because then you get to stay back with your good damage, and that's always really nice. Alright. Whoa. Can't do much against this guy reflecting damage at me. It's, um... Oh, right. Yeah, this is kind of going to have to, to happen, I guess. Alright, uh... Actually, I don't know if this is the best place to be. I might just get out of here. I'll go to... I'll put on a... Hold up. Let's go back to my mage and bow. Am I fine if I lose my intelligence for this corrosion? Let's see if that, how that looks. 
Yeah, that's all right. Let's go to let's go to the side bits because I definitely want to resist corrosion in there. I think yeah, this sounds fun. Yeah, I've definitely I've definitely had a lot of fun fun with hunters before. Um, so I'd recommend one. I would have recommended Whopper back when Whoppers had uh. Yeah, I've just got a refrigerator this guy, I think. Back when Wolves had Manifold Assault, but I'm not sure if I can quite recommend that one anymore as a start. Even just in general, I'm not sure I can recommend Wolves anymore. I haven't actually tried the lower level pile driver. Uh, so maybe that's alright. Chaos Knight is the better cognitive to start. It sure is. In fact, weirdly, I got a one and one with one of those, so maybe they're not too bad. Yeah, if you wanna wanna play for the memes, definitely go with the Chaos Knight. Cockling Chaos Knight. Alright. Oh. Leveling up to level 26 isn't too bad. Hey, why are my magic points so large at the moment? I know the major bow gives a low bit, but I don't think it get that much. Oh, you kept thinking Chaos Knight? Something sounds I'm so right about it too. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what I did with my Chaos Knight. Did I just go melee or did I try and switch to range? I can't remember. Um. Hmm. Alright, this is the final level here of the slide pits. I'm hoping my spells do well against the Royal Jelly, but I'm not sure. No refrigeration used to be decent, right? Do kind of at the blasting big areas, because they got the polar vortex, which is going to help as well. Alright, let's try to get back to the staircase. I seem to remember the. Uh, rock slaves were too bad, which I know they sometimes can be. Yeah, the refrigerating world always seems to do a lot of damage, at least. Uh, I know for a lot of characters, the rock slaves can actually be really lethal, so it's good to having something that does good damage to them. Yeah, these guys a bit more open space, just in case I need to pull a vortex them or something. This is good. I want to treat back a bit. But I think I'm, uh, well, it's kind of just slaughtering my way through that group of creatures. Alright, Royal Jelly. Um. It's no longer Royal Jelly. These guys are looking pretty wounded. Okay, well, that was trivial. Yeah, it's gonna be one of the easiest roll jelly fights I've had in a long time. Alright, plus two gloves, I don't need those. Still got the fire in this one, there's my fourth rune. It's definitely not gonna be a three rune game today, but I definitely plan on getting a lot more than that. Oh, you'll say it now, Jiva start class will happen someday. That would be interesting as a start, hmm. Because you get so many less items, it'd be... But I still think it'd be... Oh, is that a hat of the alchemist? I still think it'd be really good. Okay, do I want this? It does resist mutation, that does nothing, right? Uh... So I, I don't think I lose willpower, I lose a bit of armor class, this could be... Could be doable. Uh... Oh, potentially evasion, either one works. So... Um, hold on, I can maybe get that back. With a cloak. Is a plus two cloak? And a cloak of starlight. The cloak of starlight's mildly better. Um Yeah, so if I swap the it's one of the cloud stuff of Starlight and put on the hat of the Alchemist. Well, that an alchemy? I don't think I care about it. I can probably improve my resist there, but Also, I've not, uh, some guys have had slime knights for sure, but some of the folks have had slime knights. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a kind of appropriate start. You just start by trying to corrupt things. Actually, I might fully explore this level. For Jeeva. 
spread the corruption. Uh, what skill do I need? I might just get some more fighting. Shields are good. Spellcasts look good. Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's the Don't know what point I try to get a shadow going, but anyway, let's get out of here. I think I've done enough of this area. We don't see mainline ending at any time soon. I mean, the closest you can get is the D1 faded older, but that's not really reliable, right? Right, so, um, actually, we're back on the intelligence, I guess, instead of the resist corrosion. Put on the hatch, because that gets a resist negative anyway. Uh, gotta go get myself some starlight. All right. Because it gives the evasion, which I think is all right. Can I put it on? No, I'm going to drop something first. Do I need the resist corrosion anymore? Uh, what do I do it? I'm just trying to put this on. There we go. So I think the double cut's going down slightly. The evasion's up. Or is this up? up. Intelligence is up. Okay. I mean, I'm happy with that. 2% fail the pole politics. Let's go to... Let's go to Zod, I think. My fancy new hat. Why can't I see invisible now? What did I put on for that? My robe? Okay. Oh. You know, this might be one of the only characters that actually wants, like, uh, Josephina's ice ring. <laughs> but I don't think I found it this time round. Because she usually has that ice ring, it's like, so many characters just don't want it because it messes with everyone's us. But this character's already wearing just like a ring of ice, so I'll take it. Alright. Refrigerate these guys. I know the uh, Shadow Dragons are quite resistant to being refrigerated. Um, hmm. Hi. I got a chance of magic after that one. Out of the getting my magic drained, but I hope these dragons don't come so good. I go with the guy that can soak them up. Telling magic. If I do a pole botics, this guy should just die. Although there's a lot of guys here, which is maybe not ideal. Uh. I think that guy was Holy Rouse, but I think that's fine. I'm just channeling some more magic, because I am on an unexplored level here, so I just got shafted straight down to this one. Oh, Chanda, but that's still, I'm still waiting on a good shield. I've got the tower shield. Um, to get myself like 26 tower uh, shields, I'll just put on the tower shield probably at some stage. Uh, if I start a pole of vortex, I might get the moth. So hopefully I'll be dead before oh, I did get into the pole of Bonix. It definitely cost me a bit of party getting charmed down here, but I think that's not going to be a problem at all. Oh, the fancy trees look like enemies in a glance? Yeah, they're, they're definitely confusing the first time you see them. Oh, of course. Uh, oh, fine, I'll just challenge the magic or something. But, no, they're just demonic trees. They're actually not quite the same as normal trees. When you kill them, instead of spreading out fire, they spread out, um, chaos, I think. But yeah, they certainly do look kind of like enemies. Oh, uh, if I just blow that up. Nope. Hopefully I can just kill the Moth of Wrath. How did I go anywhere with trading the invocations? I got up to 15, which wasn't too bad. I'm going to turn the shield on and get up to 26. Because that should allow me to use a tower shield with basically no penalty. In fact... Uh... Ow, didn't quite die. There's probably not a lot stopping me from put using a tower shield right now. 2% on the pole vortex. 2% failure, so I put this on. 3% failure? Yeah, I mean, that doesn't do much. 20, okay, 27 shield value. 
compared with 20 shield value. But I lose 3 armor class, is that... That's probably worth it. I don't think I've got any better tower shields, so I'll go with this one for now. It's probably... Yeah, I'll oh, just enchant up. What's the equivalent of money, right? Yeah, I think so. Got the resistance corrosion and everything now, so it might as well be. Right, let's enchant up to plus four. There really isn't too much penalty to using it. I just got uh, tallied into a bunch of color, which is usually bad. Wait, and like, uh... what do you mean, like a bunch of color? Sounds like uh, could be some kind of vault or something. These guys are just gonna die from the polar vortex, right? Yeah, good. Don't have to do anything about them. Wait, have I not seen it in a single, like, meat stash? Because there's more fruit ones here. I thought they were about roughly even in terms of how often you get them. Oh, you're saying that I got teleported to bunch color. Yeah, well, that's certainly a lot of demonic trees, though. It really is a colored spot. Uh... No, it actually, it's actually got uh, Resist Electric at a good time here, before Dot. That has all the Electric Golems and uh, something else that's Electric as well, right? The Black Draconian Knights and stuff, I believe, uh, do some sort of electricity. So it's certainly a good time to get it. Oh, whatever. Challenge of Magic. Polar Vortex, this guy. Oh, usually the color for things are enemies, not trees. Yeah, usually it's a bunch of various colored draconians or something around you. I could go up, I'll finish this level, then I'll go up, I think. There we go, not too much of a problem finishing the level. Although... I mean, the draconians definitely come in a range of colors. Hey, final level. Um, I don't need much apart from just intelligence. In fact, 36 intelligence is not bad. I know I've got mage and bow buffing it up, but, but still. I definitely can't complain with that much intelligence. But I got 62 magic points, which also not something I can complain about. I know I've had the characters that go through here with more, but that's actually a pretty solid chunk. Uh, aren't Black Draconians like meant to be cords or something? I don't know, it doesn't seem to matter too much. Pretty sure I've had it matter for other characters, but it doesn't seem to for this one. Wait, no, they're resistant to electricity, aren't they? I just know they can do cold damage, but I don't think the, they get to resist to it. No, no cold resist, okay. But they do have the bolt of cold, so that's probably what I'm confusing it with. Excellent. Level 1 and 2 of Zot done. Start on the next level. I'm not using my magic mapping because, uh, oh, hey, Fall of Vortex, would you mind actually working? There we go. Because I'm kind of saving it for, uh, going into extended. This character's got everything they need to go into extended. I mean, I'm missing, like, one fire resist, but that's easy enough to get. I just have to swap the ring of ice with literally anything else. Uh, I could go upstairs. Oh, come on. <laughs> I knew I'd get upstairs eventually. Um, that tentacle monstrosity. Because usually it's not too bad if you've got like a few tons to try and move. I don't think I worry about this Custo too much. It's got some sort of resist, right? Now, uh, what kind of resist? That's not as bad as I thought. Mainly fire this. Hey, so no one, how's it rolling? It's actually going pretty well. This is a, this is a previous school that I had going, an ice elements list, and they're, they're doing really well. Like, I got a, what was it? I got a hat of the alchemist and stuff on this character, which is definitely nice. 
Which means my resist on when I need them to be. My willpower's on four. Um, yeah, I mean, they got polar vortex going. They got refrigerate going. They got, uh, what's it called? Permafrost going. They got everything they need, I think. Oh, for a second, you thought all those trees were draconians? Yeah, they seem to be uh, confusing everyone today. You know, they, they certainly do look like an army or something. They're all very, very colorful. Something's got to pop that door, right? Or maybe I've got to pop that door. Keep refrigerating these guys. All right. I'm probably going to go all the way back to the staircase because there's still one of those draconians left there. How well will I do against Crystal Spear? If it had me, I'm doing quite a lot of damage because I don't have anything. Uh, I don't have ma massively amazing defense or something. Wait, those are walls. Hmm. I don't actually do the best of like errors that are uh, uh, walled off and stuff. I'm more of an out in the open character, I think, with this one. Is that a purple Draconian Knight? It sure is. Which means this is some kind of special vault that I've wandered into by looks of things. Though, obviously, the staircase vault there. How have you been going anyway, said no one? Have you tried any games recently? Because I, I definitely recommend Ice Element at the moment, but the... Um... The Permafrost Rupture is really nice. Oh, you finished, uh... Is that Spring and... Wait, SD... SP... Yeah, Spring and Delva the other day. Oh, yeah. I feel like I've done a spring and delver at some stage. I don't know, they're not too bad because the extra speed means it's easier to get up to the first level, right? I feel like I did one of those. And the extra dex is kind of nice. Oh, I did two of those, apparently. Hmm. Sure. Ah, channels of magic. I don't know about this. Why do I do two of them? Huh. I don't spring as little. I've successfully done spring as a little while. I wanted to die to pandemonium, unfortunately. That was probably my most recent spring, I think. It wasn't bad. You had to get creative to find the first floor, but then you just found some rage weapons. It was standard after that. Yeah, spring is doing so well with the rage weapons. I think the rage ring worked in such a lot for them. Like, the rage weapons not needing ammo. Because before that, you kind of had to kind of make do with, like, swords or. I don't know, uh, spells or something along that line. It wasn't quite as good. Uh, I look at my first try. Did I die with that one? Yeah, drowned by a drowned soul, level 5 of the lair. And my, well, I, uh. How long ago was that? Um, does it say? 2022? That... I was streaming back then, right? Maybe? It was the end of 2022? I mean, I feel like that must be in... I mean, it must be if I was playing like an online game, because I didn't really uh, play off like uh, online games much at all before I started streaming. Crazy, that feels like quite a while back. That's coming up like, that's definitely over one and a half years, hmm. What can I do to these guys? I can just refrigerate them, there we go. Because they're kind of too spaced out for the, uh, permafrost to hit them. I got to see a total solar eclipse today. Man, I think I might have missed that one. I mean, it wasn't going to be like a total one from where I was. Um, 
I don't have, like, the special glasses you need to look at them, right? Because you need, like, the really, really dark ones to protect your eyes, right? Because even if it's in eclipse, you've still got the light around the edge that's still apparently uh, strong enough to be blinding. Uh, all the up until uh, totality, yeah. I think because that cross, uh, I don't think the I don't think it crossed like my country there where you could like see a total eclipse, but I probably should have been able to see like part of it. I don't know, certainly didn't notice any eclipses, although maybe I haven't during did that happen? I don't know what time it happened, it might have been. Because if it was night time for me anyway, it wouldn't have been, <laughs> wouldn't be able to see it. Not sure I did any good in the action, yeah. Suddenly didn't notice it, I think it didn't suddenly go dark or something. Alright. Hmm, I'm gonna challenge the magic. Refrigerating these guys are kind of blocking my path here. Alright, that's better. Get them out of the open where my fridge rate can actually do something. But unfortunately, I'm still going to have to channel a little bit more magic to get rid of everything there. I believe it started in Mexico and traveled northeast. Yeah, the, from what I saw, like, I saw where it was meant to affect, at least part of where it was meant to affect. Um, those are the places that I saw. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it was an eclipse, not, not an eclipse for me in the same round. Uh, let's freeze some of these clouds. I don't think clouds vibe very well, which is nice. Oh, hey, they're fire. Or the fire. It has no cold resist or one cold resist. One cold resist, right. Uh... I'm gonna like freeze up a little bit. Hey, something died. I think it was uh there we go, the orb of fire died. Oh I love having spells that can actually affect those ones. I mean even like uh, actually a lot of any sort of nice level spell rarely will affect an orb of uh fire. Like even if you're casting fire storm, it will eventually kill it. Our next eclipse for New Zealand is July 2028. Oh yeah, that's like, what, four years? And a few months? That's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, are these guys like resistant to cold or something? They are, but they're not like hugely resistant. Ooh, I probably just gonna have to go up, I think. I oh, you have to wait 20 years for your next eclipse? No, they don't seem to happen that often. Especially like the, like the tonal ones. You get some like partial eclipses like somewhat often, right? Uh, okay. I might as well. Do I magic map this level? I think I do. It is off 5. I want to see what I've got. Okay. Oh. Got traps. That's what I've got. Okay. Uh, does it make sense to shatter it? I think it's best to just walk on this side, but there's so many teleport traps. I don't know about that. Because I could ask uh, Sif Mother to shatter it for me or something. Yeah, it's all those, all those net traps that I'm worried about. Teleport traps. Well, not teleport, the, um, what's it called? The dispersal ones. Alright, I'll channel some magic points. Alright. I think it might be quite noisy with my polar vortex because everything seems to be coming out, which actually kind of a good thing. Gets it out into the open. Uh, I can just blow this all up with like one. Thing. All right. 
too cold resist or I see how that is, but I think I might just refrigerate again and again. And again. Uh oh, did it even die? Okay, I see. That's fine. Uh, shields is where I need it to be. So shields is good. Ice magic's good. Um, do I get the fighting? No, I might just get. I might just get the earth magic up to twenty six, and then grab the shadow spell. Whoops, that's well not right. Targeted the wrong spot there, but that's fine. I'm out of here. Oh, the only time you ever lost runes was a go ice elementalist, but that's probably back when they were really bad, right? Like back when they started with really low intelligence. Um, I mean, I guess they were never like super horrible. Uh oh, I get kind of burnt here. I think I'm taking those guys out. Not to convince the mage and bow was the right start to be using, but they had it on. Um. Okay, now they're all fire dead. I've got uh, two fire resist, I think. That's something's changed, but I'm pretty sure it's two. Oh, dear, Matt. Uh, what's, what's she doing here? Alright then. I kind of want to cloak, I think. My anyway, dazzling one's not bad. Oh. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm taking thoughts. Um. Oh, it's set off the alarm trap. All right. Pull it off a fire, I see. Uh, you never know what it's part of the lungs. No, I don't think it's very common, right? Refrigerate again. Unfortunately, I've lost my polar vortex. All right, there we go. That's better. Uh, okay, we're refrigerating. Oh, lost the polar body skin. I'm still jelly a little bit of magic. I might just, uh, might just drink a little bit of health potion in case, just in case. All right. Refrigerate again. I really don't feel like this is the right start to be using. Um. Whoa! Okay, that did a lot of damage. What can this one see? I can see pretty much everywhere, okay. Um... I think the best thing to do is drink a healing potion. Good, the orb of fire died. Got a bit more health back. If I refrigerate these guys... Oh, there's another orb of fire! Come on, okay. I'm actually going to drink a full-on magic potion here, because i got plenty of those. Polar Vortex is still going, but it won't be going for too long. Oh, it's spawning that way. She spawned there like 20,000 times? Huh. Crazy. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's in total. And, uh, Zot 5, like, 2,400 times. Okay, that's a bit more reasonable. What's well, on the orb chamber, Sally? Not on your own game, thankfully. <laughs> That'd be... No, oh, she's definitely scary when she shows up this late. Um... I think the main problem here is I've tried to do everything. Okay, get out of this net, please. I just gotta have to kill these guys. If these guys go get go get next to me, the net isn't really that bad. But I wouldn't mind getting out of this net at some stage. Okay. Like, right now would be good. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, I can kill that all with fire. Hey, get out of the net. Okay, I'm gonna retreat back a bit. <laughs> I feel like a oh, okay. There's a there's a lich straight up next to me. Um. All oh, right, I can't blink back again just now. 
I wouldn't mind. I might just hit him with a vile clutch. Uh, wait. Oh, it didn't work because I got uh, got by the polar vortex. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Hold up. He's almost dead. I don't like that. I think I hit him with another another bit of ice, and I drink a healing potion in case something else comes around that corner. Because I don't trust it not to be something come around that corner to try and snipe me. Well, okay. Got out of there finally. They didn't skip with the arms of fire this time, they certainly didn't. No, this is a, this is a wild defended entrance into Zot right now. Do I want to wear this cloak? It would give me more armor class but less evasion. Um, I'm not sure how good the blinding is on my cloak with Starlight, but I might give it a try for a little while. Therian could sometimes give me a bit more fire resist. Wait, did that say 13 armor class? What was this one? Ah, oh, 10. I don't know, I'll, I'll give it a try. I'm just not convinced it's the right one to be going with. Okay, I wasn't going to pick up the door, but I was just uh, clearing out this area for later on. Uh, there's still a few guys here, but I feel like I've got to have killed the majority of them, right? Oh, yeah, I was going to hit the wrong one. Ah, oh, well, whatever. And I am finally done. Okay, so I can go to... I might put back on... Oh, I don't need that stuff of fire anymore. I might put back on my staff of cold. Alright, this is still fine. I probably lost a little bit of... Inch, but that's fine. Uh, drop the helmet. Drop the scarf of resistance. Yeah, 3% failed to pull the That's fine. Let's get some shatter. I don't think I can cast it just yet. Let's try and get it, though. Oh, 36% failure. Oh. That's not too bad. I'm gonna go to the crypt. I might be able to get that castle pretty soon. What? Okay, it's okay. I don't want it okay. Oh, we're on. Um. Whoops. Oh, I put on G. Oh, wait, no, that's my blink. Yeah, that's pretty fine. Oh, my, all my attempts to shadow that guy didn't go so well. <laughs> I didn't think they'd go too well. Should I Keep the uh, tending things with the uh, ice, I guess. But uh, the getting myself too contaminated doesn't really matter. It's like temp stab drain. It's already back with the intelligence that got drained. Uh, where's this guy going? I have problems with actually doing damage in here, which is why I was trying to shatter, but hey. Oh, the 28% failure? It's not gonna work on a ghost. Well, not very effectively. <laughs> Alright, well that's what- Oh, I failed my polyphonics as well! That one's actually got more chance of working, I think, than failing, but that's fine. Uh, I keep on failing the polar body thing over and over. That's got me somewhere to run against, chattering my way through that wall, but I was mainly just trying to do a bit of damage. Actually, opening out the level is not a bad idea either, because that means I do more with my, um, but I'm actually not convinced that having that on, uh, whoops. G is the right idea. I might put on D. And then put my, um, my blink back on G. Because I think that's what I'm more familiar with for this run. Alright, I put on D, right? Which is a pretty easy to access key.
Yeah, the fall of Baldrick's out and the shadow going, that is going to absolutely collapse on me, which is nice. Um, if I had this guy with a, there we go, shadow just absolutely dies. Which is a uh, case with most of the things in here, because I think they're brittle because they're made of like bones and stuff. Um... And like, not being able to be cursed, the curse scales are actually kind of trivial with this. Uh, not being able to not be cursed, what am I trying to say? Not being able to be tormented, the curse scales are trivial. Uh, it's almost only an altar, just like Kiku or someone like that, or Yordel Null, let's see. Hey, Yordel Null this time round. I... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Yordel Null. I had a character that did really well with them. Uh, but I feel like you need a fairly powerful character to pull them off. To kind of get the undead army rolling, otherwise you kind of run to problems. I tried there was some definitely some weaker characters that was having a few problems. Um I don't think I'm massively great against the uh, curse skull. Um not the curse skull, the curse toes. But the polybotics are taking them out, so it's alright. Okay, probably end up. I don't think these zombies can follow me. Those are like actual real zombies, they're not just like skeletal creatures. No, this character's definitely fighting for the staircases. Uh... How's that shadow going? 12% fail? That's actually getting pretty good. I hope I put a limit on the uh, earth magic. Good, I did. Just double checking. So I have been in order to forget those things before and all my stuff at my titles. Alright, what are these liches guarding? They're guarding. Well, what's up with these pressure blades? Hold up. I. Oh, right, I know what happens. The pressure plate just releases the liches. Um, I said I've already killed like half the liches anyway. <laughs> I thought they were like the sort of pressure plates that some dead creatures, but uh, no. So if I stand here, yeah, that lich gets released. That's perfectly fine. Do I need to bring him up, bro? It's basically a vagrant. I think I was wearing, I was still wearing the ice one, which is kind of funny. The intelligence one. So I make these spells a bit better. Um, fortunately, don't have an eyes off stuff. That would be ideal, I think, for this character. That's a uh... yeah. I'm not sure how worth an ice ring is anymore. Can I get like another ring of intelligence or something? I could get a hat for two intelligence. No, they look like it. Otherwise, it would probably be worth it because that would enhance both my spells. All right. Well, that's uh, clan of the crypt. I guess. Do I go to pandemonium next? Probably. Uh, oops, that's all right. One nine percent of the shadow. I don't want to go to the tomb. Why not? Uh, I'm gonna pop open some of these walls. All right, should get a lot of these mummies coming after me. Usually I wait till I got quite a lot of experience to go in here, but I kind of feel like doing this fairly early. The first couple of levels should be too bad. The third levels could be a bit of a problem though. I was draining my inch. Make it even harder to shatter. Actually, it's safe about the same. <laughs> Guess the skill I'm getting is kind of making up for becoming harder. I gotta be careful with the Ban use, I guess. Those guys. Yeah, these guys. I think the Polyphonics does them in, but... So I've got to be careful of them. Alright.
I actually want to be too close to that wolf because I might actually shatter it open. Let's go back to the staircase and do some bit more shattering near this one. So you're just going to go this way. Hmm. I like the look of all those uh, dot traps, but oh well. I don't exactly get a choice of what sort of traps I want to see. Is it just strides and straight at the moment? I don't think that matters much. Now, the shadow's down to 4% failure, so I'm pretty much going perfectly on that one now. Which means my skill is going to be yeah, hitting the target very, very soon. Um, I can maybe get a little bit more spellcasting, but I think at this point it's mainly just fighting and spellcasting. No, oh, I should just go up. Right, good. Earth magic's where I need it. Uh, let's get the fighting up to 26. In fact, I probably should get the spell casting up to 26. Anything else I want? Uh, I'll get the invocations up to 20. I never got my dodging. I should get like... I don't know. I should get like 15 dodging or something. Oh, uh, someone must have stood on the strap up here. So it's like a little tiny guy as well. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard, like, to tell which areas used to be in the walls and stuff after you've finished, uh, going through and shattering all the walls and everything, but we'll see how, uh, that way it is to tell after I'm finished here. No, I don't want to be, don't want to be that close to the walls. Yeah, because I gotta release the bobbies. Is my party maxed out right now? I've been doing, like, some telling of magic, so I'm kind of surprised, but I guess, uh, mummies are worth, like, a lot of piety, I guess, because they're quite tough or something. But that tends to happen to the extent that the creatures start getting worth, um, more piety, because it's, I think it's based on your level and the level of the creatures you fight. That could be where I want to go. Yeah, let's just go down. At the up staircase, excellent. I'm going to shatter over this level, but it's nice to be at the up staircase. Oh. Oh, so many traps. Okay. Um, I'm also kind of running low on the magic points. I maybe should have put on a brilliant stone. Oh, I've got 13 of those. Let's just pop one right now. Okay. Are the channel going? <laughs> it's not on the channel, but I'm probably fine. Man, it doesn't look like there's too much coming along right now. Was it just that one dispersal trap? I guess there's a second one in there as well. It seemed like an awful lot of getting dispersed around. I was definitely not able to stay in one spot. Might just quiver up the shad. No, I'm fine. I think we can't see that normally. I do occasionally use the bone frost, but I don't use it much anymore. You don't ever go up. I will uh, like do the rest of this level. I don't think there's too much left to it. I keep on forgetting about this character's like minus regen in combat because it doesn't matter that much. I kind of lost all my uh, regen sources. For a tiny while, I used a robe of the vines and then I just got a straight up arch magi robe. Alright, there we go. So now let's go down to the third level. I think I'll definitely put on a brilliance. I got 30 in haste. I might do a haste as well before I go down. And I got a magic map just to see where the traps are. Um, net traps are the ones I want to kind of try to avoid. Alright. 
Spousal Trap's not ideal, but... There's a lot of bad news, but they are dying at least. Dark the channel magic, of course. Oh, got me with the net. I'm gonna try and get out of this net. There's not a lot of bad spot to be just like hiding around this corner, I think. Um yeah, challenging the magic it seems to be going right. Channel some more fast, but slow. I'm doing just fine with my speed. Oh, that cloak off anyway. Looks like it's something special. Is that like the cloak of rats or something? Oh, surprised that guy decided not to net me because it had a had a chance to net me there if it wanted to. Uh. I should probably try to go up soon, but unfortunately that, oh, pulls me through the air with the net. Did I just miscast, or... I think I might have just miscast, that's fine. Alright, let's just, uh, I don't know. Let's sort of try to hide in this corner for a little while. Is that a rat robe? It's a cloak of the thief. It's the one that does fog. Wait, it makes you quiet now. Hold on, did this get redone? So, all noise in your surrounding is dampened. Is that the same as a mutation or different? Because the mutation is actually not terrible. Minus three slaves, whatever. Seven visuals, whatever. Oh, it doesn't do fog anymore. Hey, that's kind of nice. Um, I might, I mean, I'd lose like, what, four armor class to get that, but... I really do like the... I want to try it. Hold on. I gotta try and see how much difference it makes with the quietness. See if it's the same as the mutation or not. Nah. It's nowhere near as fate as the mutation. I don't think. Oh, maybe it is. Okay, let's try... Hold on. Try a polar vortex. It's getting... I don't know. Maybe a third of the bar? No. Oh, a bit more. Up to about half. Let's try on this cloak. Okay, it's definitely noticeable. I'm not sure it's half again, it, but it's actually, it actually is decently noticeable. Could be Aaron's was most well in its clarity there. Do I need a clarity? It's basically all it does. Don't need my major bow, unfortunately, anymore, because uh, the spell fab doesn't work on all these undead creatures, all the demons and stuff, so... Right, there we go. Fifth rune is the golden rune. Let's get out of here. There's nothing left to do in here. I got my thing around, I'm pretty sure. There's always a nice option when it comes to escaping and stuff. Um, I just go just straight to hell. I mean, it's something I got to do pandemonium, but... I kind of feel more like doing hell. It's going okay. Oh, I got pushed on my staircase. Okay. There we go, back on the staircase. That's more like it. Uh, Challenge's not quite keeping up, but it's doing all right. I think this is fine, although actually, I should probably just go up. There's not too many creatures left here. There we go. Right to the staircase, that's interesting. Then we've got the Horde of Gurion, which I could there use. Uh, I can't even carry it. I don't think I need the Quiet Robe. I really like the, the change to that one. I think it is quite an improvement. The Minus Slaying could be a problem, because a lot of characters that do like stabbing are kind of into the whole um, slaying side of things, because they go really fast, things like daggers and. Quick blades and stuff. I'm not sure whether it's going to really be a target audience of being a thief, but it could actually be more useful now. Alright, which one? Hell do I want to go first? Um, I'm immune to like miasma, right? So I could go into Tartarus. 
I think I might. The only thing I'm missing is like one fire resistance. And apart from that, my resistance is looking pretty good. So I actually got quite a lot of choice where I want to go with these hells. Uh, do I even really care about a Tormentor? I mean, it's, I could probably, maybe, probably even Mally it if I wanted to, right? Alright, let's go down to the second level. So, beat, oh, Drain Side. You've got to be a bit careful with that silence. I wish if my default auto explore would go through silence, but I couldn't find an RC option to stop that, unfortunately. Do I need to challenge the magic? Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, that one's taken out by the Polar Vortex, so I guess not. Hey, there it is. Uh, I don't feel like Mally's doing a lot. We might try Mind Bust. I know that does alright. Um, there we go. Got rid of it. Do these guys fly? Oh, they do. What else do I think can affect them? Hold on, how's their cold resist? One? Uh, it's okay. It's freezing them. It's certainly better than shattering, I think. Alright, next level. So I can't get held. There's nothing really to stop that. I don't think I can cancel out with the yards or anything. Oh, that's actually 37% failure. I should maybe go learn that one. When I get a little bit of a chance, of course, and there's not creatures that are pushing me on all sides. Oh, oh. Did they get interrupted or did that actually work? No, I got interrupted. Yeah, I'd be kind of surprised that they got through. Uh... Alright, now I can go grab the Yaras. What does it need? It needs Hex and Alchemy. Although it's like getting spellcasting, it's getting a bit more castable. I think I might just, uh... Throw it a little bit. I'll try to throw it in like 5 hexes, 5 alchemy, see if it does the trick. Because it doesn't, I don't want his damage to be high, but I do want his cast chance to be good, so that's all I really need on it. I get how do oh, I did? Uh huh. Maybe should have tried the Yaras, but that's fine. I've almost got these guys. Now might be a decent time to try the Yaras. Sixteen percent failure. I'll see how much damage it does to me. Yeah, a little bit. Acceptable amounts, I always think. Oh, more of these little hounds. Definitely keeping an eye, uh, an eye on my condition, so... Oh, I need one more magic point. There we go. Oh, does this guy fly? Oh, probably does. Hey, so the next level Tartarus sounds so good. What, three more levels? Oh, come on, don't put me here. Okay, I can definitely target this guy with acid. It's got a 100% chance to hit, so that's not bad. What? Well, there's another one? Come on. Uh... Oh. Don't do that. Oh, it's right there. So I'm just gonna try to get away from it, I think. Okay. Can't start... Oh, I can try it. I'll do a pol uh, pol pol so they open this out, it should get a bit better.
Good, at least it's not a silent race with this guy. Uh... Alright, oh, well, this is going to require a bit of channel magic, I think. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, it's going to require a little bit of channel magic as well. I'm held. Okay, let's get rid of that. So I've got the yards on 9%. That's looking pretty good. Excellent. Uh... Hey, it's my good old silent race, my nemesis here. I can't get him with my bus, though. I seem to have built up a decent number of... Um... I dropped a level, thankfully not into Silent Race. <laughs> yeah, no, it seems to be fairly harmless where that put me at least. And I've got the way down, so I should keep it going down. This is the last level right here. Okay, so... Get these guys a little bit closer and pull the Vortex some more, I think. Uh, oh, I to get help, but I might do a... Yeah, that's fine. Now we can probably get rid of it. I just uh, didn't want to do one shatter first before I try to get rid of this how. Another shatter. Polar Vortex, get rid of some of the cl guys closer to me. Uh... Oh, of course, there's more guys. I'll just keep them out and drink channeling. It seems to be going just fine. All right. Some of these are fade voice chatter, but not the little spirit guys. I can't be held. I'll just do one. No, no, no. I should cancel out the chatter right now, shouldn't I? Not the chatter, the cow. Should just, it gives the other one a little bit of a chance to do a howl, but that's all right. But there's more than just one here now. There's a whole army of them. And I think I just gotta go like straight down to get where I need to go, which is um to the rune. But I gotta be a bit careful of Ersh Kegel, because she does love to do a silence. And of course she has all these guys guarding her, which do their dispel dead. In fact, does she have to spell dead herself? I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. But she pulls in so many of these like uh to the middle guys anyway. Uh, definitely gonna be dispelling dead gigs for the round. Oh, there she is. Okay. She probably flies as well, right? No. Ooh, 30% of paralysis. All right. That's not a teleport. Um. Hey, what? She didn't even notice me? Okay, that's not what I was expecting to happen, but. Sure. I've gotta get rid of this how. I gotta do it now as well. No, oh, did I did I not get rid of how? Might have failed. Alright, I just got how to get. Uh they're gonna die on their own, I think. It's always, uh, always nice when you don't have to do anything, it's just stuck in the polar vortex. Man, I, I love those, uh, these whole, uh, ice elementalist combos. 
All right, something's shouting at me, which would be what's the name? Um, Eric King, I think. That's that's not what I mean to do. It's Paul Vodic, hey guys, that I've tried to chatter a little spirit guy. Um. Oh, not a silent race. Uh oh. Can it creep up on me? That's not a good sign at all. This Irish key go. Start the teleport again. So, Shadow does work on her, right? Yeah. Gotta be right next to where she was. There she is. Start my teleport just in case she does a silence. Um, ah, took me out already. Well, I just wanted to get rid of this uh, silent rate. Wait, resting here is kind of dangerous. Uh, oh, still in the silence. I thought I might have just got out of the edge of that one. Why does that manual mind it useless? Ah, oh, change it, it makes sense. I have no idea what that sound race is. Alright, Eric's gear is unfortunately back to full health. I might be able to sneak in and grab on the rune while she's not looking though. That's just a slang ring, unfortunately. This is gonna try to, yeah it is. Oh no, my spells are wearing off. Um, just as I got silenced, right? Yeah. Why is Apple with a bit of acid? Uh, not working. Okay. Don't they grab a tambourine, unfortunately? I think it's. No, nah, it's not doing a lot. Um,. Throw a dead at her. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt. Aim for the dead? That's pretty bad. Okay. Try zap with some electricity. Oh, she healed herself. Okay. Hey, I'm out of the cells. I'm gonna start the teleport while I got a chance. Um. Alright. Yeah, unfortunately, I did not manage to keep up with the evoke bolt. She was kind of healing herself fast, like so could damage her. There she is. Oh, no, not paralyzed. Um, She healed herself up again. I got her, got her decently wounded, and then she's like, Nah, I'm, I'm not going to be wounded anymore. Hey, she finally died. Excellent. Uh... Now it's just a matter of finding wherever she left the rune, which will be in the center somewhere. Hey, there it is. So I'm now... Oh, I couldn't get rid of this guy, but I guess I'm now done. I can just get out of here where the closest exit is. So it's one of my Kel runes done, the bone one. So let's go to... I think the Icy Hell's... Oh, wait, hold on. I have no fly. I guess I'm flying going to the Icy Hell. Uh, the rig. Yeah, it's probably worth it. I can take off the rig of ice or something because I don't see the polar vortex being the most effective. Yeah, I'll do a bit, but still. Alright, so I can drop... Mm, slag, obviously. Yeah, I guess I'll take off the ice. So I've still got 80% uh, power on the polar vortex. So it's already... Oh, I should actually swap to my staff of Earth. I think my core resistance will still be good. Oh, actually... I wonder if this is down a little bit because they took the ice rig. Uh, do you want the shatter off and power though? I might still go with that and go into uh, Cosiders, which is that, is that X? Alright, shatter. It's gonna be a little guy, it's constantly uh, coming in one time for a while, isn't it? Trying to stop me, uh, get my magic back, that's fine, let's go down!
And there's another way down there, so this is not too bad so far. I think the fact that I have... Oh, right, the shrikes are going to be the problem. But I think everything else is going to be fine. Um... How much coverage does the cold strike have, too? Right, of course it's going bad. That's not a surprise. I just think of, like, refrigerating them, but I don't know if that would be too effective. Uh, I could do a pump frost eruption. Do a shatter. Shatter does a little bit, but it's not that effective, unfortunately. Yeah, the polybotic simply seems to be doing better. Um... Right, next level. Let's go down again. Uh, where to go should be too bad. I got resist electric. I think they can still do maybe a short duration paralysis, even when you've got the resist electric, but I think it's a lot less likely and lasts less time or something. All right. Oh, just teleported out there. There was a nice feed. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna try and recharge the ball four tanks and take it out with that. All right, channel on the magic. It's nice to be able to actually use ice magic, despite being an ice tell. I would have thought it would like not be particularly effective, but I guess it's a bit like using fire magic when going through a fiery hell or something. It does sort of work. Alright, time to go downstairs. So this leads me to level 6. Which means I'm actually making some pretty casey progress through here. I'm not going to worry about this, guys. We just go down. Oh no, it's this one. Um, definitely gonna start yelling into magic. This one loves to surround you, though. Alright, come on, channel magic. Keep my magic nice and full. I think this is going alright. But being at the center of the level, you definitely get quite surrounded sometimes. It's just one strike. Uh... You can see how this can be a problem with normal characters, all these ice fiends, right? With them tormenting you, but at least it, this character doesn't get tormented. Uh... Come on. Do a ball for next, I think I might have missed girls or something, because that doesn't seem to quite work. I doubt I would try the boss, because the boss is usually around the edges, but I certainly attracted enough stuff in here. Okay. Oh, well, there's even more of these ice fiends. Yeah, this is level I've died to, like, uh, with different characters a couple of times, so I've got to challenge the magic. Um, it's not ideal, but I can start a polar vortex and just... Hey, one of these guys with power frost eruption, I think. Man, I gotta think about leaving pretty soon if this doesn't let up soon. Uh, it's not a lot I can do with it, thanks to me, right? I mean, I can try and refrigerate it, but I don't feel like that does, uh, does the most damage. Oh, I think I just gotta take all the hell effects I'm out of that, unfortunately. Yeah, my health is just getting worn down. I mean, it's alright. Getting back down will not be too much of a problem. Um, what's going on with these hell effects? I think they're, there we go. There's one. My strength got a little bit drained, which is harmless. Alright. That's one that I seem to have managed to somehow basically just skip the level, which is actually kind of nice because it means I get to get the um get the experience now and make up for some of my caliphates. In my caliphates are completely gone. I just got one more level to go down.
Uh... Oh, stole the strikes. Okay. Oh, where did it go? Kind of ran off to do its own thing. Uh... All right, there we go. And the boss could be in any one of the corners, basically, this level, so I just gotta go walking around trying to find them. But I don't think they'll be too bad. And a willpower ambler is a willpower ambler. The slaying of the random range doesn't matter. Slaying doesn't really matter. It's not actually that good. I got a better willpower one because I don't actually care about the um, slaying. Hey, what's the last time this character... Oh, there's a boss right next to me. Okay. Just a serious melee attack. Alright, so... Where's my Vile Clutch? Oh, come on. Lasts a little bit longer than that. Also, I think I can do a Curare on this guy. There we go. He's not very nice in melee, so I'm just trying to keep my distance from him. There we go. Not too much of a problem yet. Challenging magic against so him is kind of like cheating. Because <laughs> usually you can't drink potions in here, so if you run out of the magic, you're in trouble. But not for this character. Alright, seven runes. Let's get out of here. Which hell next? Your head or the eyes in your disc? I might do some pandemonium at some stage, right? But I might do Gehenna... I think I'll leave the Iron City just to a bit later on, so I might do Pandemonium before that one. Alright, uh... Dodging's made some difference, actually, which is nice. I don't care about the flight in here, so I might just put my Ring of Ice back on. I don't care too much about the resistant area, though, but I just want a little bit of power on the Polar Vortex. Well, so I have a feeling like I'll be doing some polar vortex and a specifically fire themed tell. Ah, uh, okay. I can refrigerate people as well, which could be kind of handy. I gotta remember about that one. I refrigerate. I can refrigerate the little uh, firewood seeds as well. Alright. Hey, the boss level, how's it going? Come to find another ice elemental, because I seem to be playing quite a few of these ones recently, but this one's doing pretty well. Your classic ghoul ice elementalist. I feel like this is probably the best time to possibly play a ghoul ice elementalist. No, I'm really enjoying this one. Uh. You can channel some of these guys, might actually be quite effective. Oh yeah, that's uh, absolutely solid these guys. You don't shadow... I mean, most of these don't fly, so I guess that's why it's so effective. Unless I'm fighting Brimstone Fiends, it's probably just the right thing to do is shatter. Or these ones, these ones also um, don't get affected much by shatter. How have you been going uh the boss level? Have you been trying any characters in Dungeon Crawl or anything? Alright, level four. Uh it's got a shadow, get rid of Why did he kill that guy? I don't know. Oh, another one probably came into view. That's probably what would odd. It almost looks like some sort of weird Italian island kind of deal, but I don't think it is. All right, refrigerate, refrigerate, there we go. Refrigerate, refrigerate, excellent. So I'm trying to get some magic points back. I don't care about this guy because it can't actually get to me. Same with this one. I just don't, uh, don't want to rest up too wildly because I want to get the magic points going. I've got some advice. You just did vaults looking to do extended, but still the demon spot of a lot of regen. Uh, oh, you maxed it 11 hit points a second? That's kind of crazy. If you stop trading anything right now, do slime. Uh, 
Okay, you try spell casting up in time to get ignition going just before slime burns. Um, I mean, they would probably get it going. It would definitely be going in time for tomb, and probably some of the later hells would be my guess. Oh, you're going to do slime. You're training right now. Um, wait. Uh. Hmm. Wait, you said you're just done vaults? Like, vaults 5 or not yet? So I know vaults 5 could be worth a lot of XP. I think, yeah, you can officially get to extended. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely get, uh, get the ignition going in some of the later hells, no problems at all. I oh, just finished vaults 5, but... It's gonna be quite hard to get it going, um... Anywhere near slime pits, I'd imagine. But it sounds like you're gonna have to go there pretty soon. I mean, I guess you could do Zot first, but. Uh, there's a whole lot left to do. Alright, let's go down. Alright, challenge the magic. Um, I don't think the elephants fly or anything, so I can just. Shadow them down, or at least try to just shadow them down. One more magic point, there we go. You're also very melee based, so what do you recommend? I'll say the similar screenshot of your current levels, yeah. I mean, it's actually not a bad idea to try and get um, ignition going for tomb or something, but it depends on the character. Um, if you don't really have, like, necro mutation going, like, I kind of find that maybe a little bit important, more important, because you can get the... Ooh, I should challenge the magic. It's like the whole scrolls of immolation stuff. All right. I think it may be necromancy. I've never really done a lot of a necromancy in Excel, and I don't, uh, don't know if I'm the right judge on whether that would work or not. A uh, pull up heavy armor shield guy. Oh, but, but with heavy armor, getting ignition is definitely pretty, pretty struggle. Um, you are demon spawn though. I'd probably just try to get like the necro mutation going if you can, but that kind of relies on you actually having found it, right? It's far from guaranteed. Is it refrigerate? Yeah, the molding guy goes no problem with that one. That's why I think you uh do you sack your crystal plate? You also is an aggregation talisman? Yeah, exactly. That's why it uh, kind of works in heavy armor. Um But if you found the found the necro mutation, I'd just definitely keep it there in heavy armor. Um and try and get the necro mutation going, because that uh can make quite a difference. What sort of god are you going with this time round? I mean, obviously not the shiny one, because you're a demon spawn. <laughs> uh, go with Kiku. Oh, interesting. No wonder you're thinking of, like, a bit of necromancy. Um, does Kiku, they don't guarantee the necromutation anymore, do they? Because their offerings is either a book or pain bread. Uh, so you're thinking necromancy. What sort of necromancy spells are good except that I don't really have a lot of experience with that personally. I mean, I know the the um one that makes the little guys pop out little scarab beetles can work. Uh, I also far enough paid brand isn't doing too much. Yeah, I don't think the pain brand's ever going to do a huge amount of extended. I feel like a lot of the guys are kind of just going to be resistant or immune to that, unfortunately, at this point. Which is a bit of a shame, but... Uh... Are Death Scarab's Haunted Initiative 
synergy. But unless you're a deep dwarf, getting those cards for crystal plate armor is gonna. I mean, you could probably get the ignition going like really late game, but it's gonna be a real struggle getting all those all going crystal plate armor. Um. What channels of magic I think it does? What do I do against this dragon? What's it resistant to? Oh, it's not even cold resist. Hold up. I get to dump like the ice on his head. There we go. <laughs> Alright, that dragon isn't too bad once I figured out what it was uh, weak to. Oh, whoops. I think I cast it. Oh! I did it again, I cast it this guy was out of view. So I had the one turn that it was standing out of view. Uh... Oh, take some screenshots, oh yeah. I guess you can't exactly set a character dub, right, if it's like an offline character or something. Uh... Oh, you can easily get to three rune, you feel super strong? Yeah, I'd imagine so, a lot of the... A lot of the heavy armor characters can feel pretty decent after a certain point. Though it doesn't, I mean, that much regen, obviously. It's gonna feel good. As this is not where the boss is, this is where the boss could have been. I don't know why I'm picking up this money. Retirement funds, I guess. That could be my excuse for picking up, but... Hey, at least I know where the boss chambers are now. Man, that damnation does so much damage. I mean, this character's actually got a decent amount of health. And even they are uh, struggling with the damnation. I kind of remember I've got like, some potions and stuff where I need to use them. But so far I've been doing quite good without using my potions and stuff. But I should buff up this uh, boss because you can't escape very easily. If things go wrong because you're not allowed to read the teleport scrolls. Well, any scrolls, but... Yeah, specifically the teleport ones matter quite a bit. I oh, mean, with 47 AC after blood buff armor, 11 hit points a second. You've outlived a lot? Yeah, no, it sounds like there would be no problems for like a three rune game. Uh... Oh man, I need to. I'll do a brilliance. Do a haste. I think that's probably a good idea. Does he fly? I feel like he does, right? Yeah, he does. But can I refrigerate him? I don't know, but not that effective. Actually, I think the power frost. There we go. Power frost is doing quite a bit to him. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. All right. Whoops. Get a shadow striker. Oh, not sharing the walls very well. It's just trying to open it up a little bit. Get that ball of vortex going. Okay, what do I need? I need. Man, this character's actually getting a lot of the skills they need. I'll get some more dodging. That seems to do something for me. Um, I'll get a little bit more invocations. But I probably just got to get... What was it? Fire magic or something? That's going to get with this character. Get myself a title. And maybe some fire spells. We'll see. Are you being carried by good luck, you think? I mean, you'll certainly be carried by those mutations, I imagine. Get out of here. Do I want to do the Iron City Dust? No, I'll do Pandemonium. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Pandemonium, but I like Hells. Hells are fun. But, oh, it's a demonic rune. Pandemonium sometimes feels a bit more like a slug. Uh, I can't leave yet because it's, it's a Pandemonium Lord. <laughs> so many exits. 12 haste potions? I don't think I'm going to run out of those. Alright, is it Hellion Island? Yeah, good. Nice. Oh, this dude flies. What does that actually do? Vitrify? Okay, I might just... I might just back up a little bit so I'm not fighting Hellions at the same time. Um... Maybe Shattering is not the most effective here. I'm still killing it eventually. Okay. Give me my magic back. <laughs> God, this pandemonium, I'm not going to get my magic back unless I just channel it, I think. Uh, 
Got a fire ring. Don't think I need that one. Got the rune, which I definitely need. Um, oh, I'll just tell the magic. But I, I should probably just go to the next region. There we go. I don't think this one had anything, unfortunately. So I just gotta keep on, uh, keep on going. See what I can find. Do I even have any health regen with this character? I'm not sure I do, actually. Because I certainly don't have magic regen. Jen. Oh, they found a unique enemy with a reflection kite shield crystal plate over trolls? Was immediately found a demon trident? Man, I don't think there's any of the guaranteed crystal plate armor. Because it could be like Donald, it could be Louise? Maybe? Who else has shields? Oh, those would be the big two that I'd think of. Alright, oh, what does the pandemonium lot do? Not a lot. Got fire to this, lovely color to this, but I don't think it looks terrible. Whoa, okay. There's a bunch of dudes, okay. Hold up, these guys are fast, aren't they? No. Oh. Oh no, that's not working. I reckon it's probably a smart plan to blink back. I mean, this is necessary, Nita, but I don't want to risk it. Especially when I got so much blinky with this character. Um. Yeah, there's just a lot of guys with damnation just sitting there. Oh, that's not working very well. <laughs> Oh, it was Donald that uh, came along? Yep, that makes sense. Uh... Oh, he also killed you? Wait. Wait, no, your uh, 47 AZ character was a separate character? Wait, surely your character was 47 AZ would not die to Donald? I know he can be pretty bad. I guess he's Jody just on the... Hmm... Oh, he almost killed you. Wait, hold up. <laughs> hold on, I misread that, I think. I was the same character. You got the AC from his crystal plate. Right. No, that makes sense. No, I was just uh, completely misreading what you had uh, written there. Apparently. No, that makes sense. Like, if you met him fairly early on, it definitely almost killed you. Did I get the root of this level? Hold up. Uh, I got the demonic rune. I don't think this level had a rune, so let's keep it moving. Um, that looks kind of holy. Do I stick around? It doesn't have a rune. I might just go to the next level. The idea with pandemonium is to spend as little time in pandemonium as you can. I don't know if freezing that guy did the most. Yeah, well, it's something. Uh, there's some way this character can get uh get some health regen. Let me go check. What am I wearing? So we're in that reflection emblem, which is fine. Oh, I didn't bring a health regen one with me. Maybe I should have. Did I bring the health regen armor? No, I didn't bring that one either. <laughs> Cause I'm beginning to feel like I gotta gotta get something going. Um Alright, come on, give me my health back. Right, there's the pandemonium lot, so it does uh glaciate lightning bolt. You know what I go to the next level, I think. I'm not gonna worry about that pandemonium lot. I don't think this level has nothing either, right? So I just gotta find my way off the level again. Uh 
Oh, that's your character. You look at me a second. I'll take a look at that one after I kill this dude. All right, let's go take a look at that one. So... Uh, and do a bit of this good. So you got... Oh, you got good resist apart from poison resist. Hope you have some sorts of that later on, because that's kind of nice. Shield's all right. Plate up is really good. Where's all the resistance coming from? Oh, Ring of Resist Electric. No, that rings do a lot. Right. Um... Hey, I'm not available to get those from mutations. Oh yeah, the robust. Everything's looking really good for staying with the melee character. Um, uh, what's your int? 13. I still reckon that's going to be really hard to get any sort of spells going, um, with 13 int. I mean, later on it might not be a bad idea. Uh, okay, the skills are... they look pretty decent. But the armor skill, shield skill, fighting, pull arms, so that all makes perfect sense. Oh, that's another look at your items. You got the trident. Oh, yeah. I mean, eventually you'll want to get a bigger shield if you can, but everything's looking pretty good. Um, oh, they got multiple sorts of resist electric. Oh, yeah, you do have the poison resist for if you need it. Excellent. Um, but no death talismans? Because <laughs> that would probably be the biggest difference, I think, to that character. Well, you're thinking maybe spells? Um. Right. Ugh, I cold resist. Wait, did it fly? Ah, I should have checked better. It did fly. Wait, let me look at this again. So you've got... Minus willpower tried. That's not actually a bad tried if it if you have the willpower for it. Which you don't really. Hmm, I see. Yeah, I mean I think the flavor tired is probably the right choice, right? Uh Does minor doubt that I would never thought about that? If only if only it was that easy. Man, I wish there were more of those doubt tellings, but um I have no idea how hard it is to, like, abandon Kiku or whether you want to keep it going with Kiku. But yeah, I'd definitely say keep with the fighting for a little while and maybe try and get, uh, maybe try and get the ignition and stuff later on. But I reckon with Pandemonium, we're going to have to go through that without spells and probably some of the hells as well. With, uh, sort of trying to get things going to heavy armor. What do I do to this guy? I'm sorry, to freeze a little. Whatever I do, it's not doing that much damage to this guy. It just hates itself up. You know what? I can actually do some damage to the yards, maybe. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, using yards as my main attack deal was actually doing all right. Uh, can I drop a permafrost on the guy? There we go. Whoops. Ah. That was a mistake to take that guy when I wasn't quite close enough. Man, I don't know about Pandemonium here. Maybe I should have just done the Iron City of Dis. But Iron City of Dis is generally one of the hardest parts of the game. Alright. Oh, Kiku has got powered uh, 50 cent chance. Has been carrying you? Oh, I see why you want to get Necromancy because it helps with the god abilities as well. No, that makes sense. Um, oh, you're with Kiku as well, so you could get wrenches. You know, actually, the idea of getting out a... Trying to get out the, what's it called, the, um, the Death Scarabs, that actually is a terrible idea, actually. If you're going to stick with Kiku, yeah, definitely, I think. Hey, Lost Zoot, it's an Ash Knoll for life. Unfortunately, no Ash Knolls here. This is more like a Sith Ghoul. Let's wait to the next level. There we go. What's up with all these levels not having runes? That's been disappointing. Oh, I did set my magic. I was worried it would do that. Is it worth? Oh, it's probably worth hitting myself with the Yaras. Oh, 
I was wondering what if it's even feasible to just tear a necromancy. I mean, I reckon with like almost maxed out necromancy, you could probably start getting the death scams going. But um, I wouldn't expect it to get going any better than almost maxed out necromancy. Just makes throwing a pull ups. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'd have a. I feel like personally, I keep it going with the fighting for a while, but. I've never really played many Kiku characters, so I'm not entirely sure what's optimal when you're specifically with Kiku. Um, but yeah, you'd have to, you would get the, definitely would get the stuff going till sometime after Pandemonium, even if you went to spellcasting. Alright. Because it's pretty much similar to getting the old Death Store, except, uh, single school, I guess. Not Death Store, uh, the other one. This isn't too bad. I got a polar vortex. Ah, oh, it's got firestorm, crystal spear, hey, so I gotta teleport out and try and get some of my health back. Set in this corner for a little while. Hoping for the best, I guess. Alright, there it is. So I'll start the channel magic. What's it resistant to? Uh Cold, of course. Doesn't fly, though, at least. Hey, there we go. Yeah, not flying was definitely his mistake. If I had been a flying region, it would have had such an easier life. Uh, don't really need that potion. I'll just go to the next level. I just want to get my health back before I head on over, though. There we go. It's most of it back. Hey, magical rune. Uh... Can I just steal this one? Because I'd prefer not to fight a guy with polar vortex. I do have good gold resist, right? Yeah, I do, because I did put back on my stuff for the polar vortex at some stage. Alright. Why is my flight coming from these days? Wait, why do I still have that ring on? Oh. Huh. Hmm. That's actually handy in this fight, but it's probably not the right ring to, to have on in general. I think Kiku is actually a good pick for extender because of the top end resistance itself. Yeah, I mean, that people definitely do do Kiku extended. And with Demon Spawn, I mean, you don't really have a lot of other ways of getting, well, doing extended unless you can find a death type, which sounds like you didn't. So, yeah, it's actually not a bad god. I just haven't, like, personally done it. Uh. Alright, there we go. Get that guy again. Uh, do you actually go Manifold Soul? Are you playing in Trunk where it's like level 7? Or are you playing at a bit more of a reasonable level? Um, I mean, if it's level 7, I wouldn't personally worry about it too much. I feel like it would be a lot of work to get online for. Maybe not the most rewards. Uh, I mean, it's still not bad to extend it. You're, you're going single-handed. Um, I mean, if it, oh, whoops, ah, I did an extra step. I might have started the teleport. This is fine. I can see where the rune would have been. All right, come on, telly. There we go. Someday I'll get my health back, yeah. Hey, there we go. Uh, I don't see how you could put kill Loblo Body or the pure melee character. Right, right, without like vines or something. I mean... Yeah, if you if you have the fourth level uh, Manifold Assault, I definitely, uh, like the one from Stable, I definitely recommend it. But if it's all the way up to seventh level, I don't think you're going to get it cast the board time. Alright, did I ever actually... Hold on, let me just back up. I don't think I actually picked up the, um, application this time round. There we go. 
fix that mistake. Alright, I can't kill Lomlo, but I got completely the wrong spells, but that's not a big issue. Probably. I should have a way better time against a fiery pandemonium lord that can't even fly, right? Uh, not... I oh, actually can't even get it to form, even if I wanted to. Okay, where is the boss? Oh, probably right in the center there somewhere. Ah, uh, there he is. I think it's probably time for me to get back out, but... I want to kill this guy before I teleport out. We'll see how well that works or not. I think I might have got it. I killed something. Because those are the ones that really add to the damage. Also, I can use a haste potion in this fight, which I probably should. Haste and brilliance will make things a lot easier. I'm just hoping I've got rid of some of the extra guys. Uh, can I just stop being hasted? There we go. Right, so get the haste going myself and the brilliance. Gonna like blink back from a little bit. There we go. Because I know his melee is pretty bad. Oh, I can uh, I can go unhaste him again. Uh, where did he go? Hey, no problems. Excellent. No, he's no problems when you got the spells that I do. Or oh, did you get that sub? That was probably from Wadaz, I would guess. I don't know, there's been a, been a few gift subs recently. I got plus three gloves. I have the gloves of fire and switch I gotta keep on for the rest of this game, I think. I will check out these little loot rooms, see if any of them have anything. Uh, see if it's well, no, I got the I got the whole um, what is it? Yeah, oh, the alchemist hood. Oh, that's the one. All right. Now there's nothing in with these loot, but it's worth checking out. Make just double check that there's not anything. Good. Oh, hey there, Lom. Uh, not time to go to the abyss yet. I might have started teleport. I don't want to fight Lom Lobon. All right. So I'm just looking for a way to the next level, but I'm not being... Oh, there we go, there we go, there it is, let's get out of here. I was gonna say I wasn't being very effective, but it didn't actually take very long to find. Um, how am I going with, like, Enchant Armor? I don't think I found any throughout my trip through the Abyss and... Not the Abyss, through Pandemonium. Hey, okay, let's go to the next region. Is there two more? Oh, not this region. Um, fine, I'll be invisible, I guess. I got tons of that, so... Start the polar vortex. I'll just shadow these guys out of here so they die a lot quicker. What does this dude do? Quicksilver and it flies. Alright, that's alright. I'll just try and freeze a little. Wait, how resistant was it to that? Guess what some of the other guys? Oh, it's not. Huh? Oh, magic sapped. Ah, I gotta get out of here and wait that back. Uh, refrigerate some more of these, but yeah. Still invisible, and I haven't started glowing yet, but I gotta have to get rid of my invisibility to get rid of my sap magic, unfortunately. If I can just find a way off this level without having to go back through those uh, guys in the sand, that'd be nice. I'll really stab my magic again. That's just mean. Um... Oh, 
oh, I've got to gotta blow myself up again, as silly as that seems. I mean, I've still got to wait off the minus cast, but at least that's uh, before I get my spell casting back. I just hear the pandemonium of blood, that's probably fine. I'm just trying to avoid the error of the main bulk of ghost moths until... Well, hopefully until I just get a fall off here, but if I don't get a fall off here on the rest of the level, I'll get to that central part. Because uh... I know the error of the ghost moths always does have a portal in it, at least one. <laughs> that was the optimal way to go, just walk straight through the wall. Uh... This is fine. I might just back up. Oh, there's a ghost moss. Hold up. I gotta go over the one thing. Um, alright, start a poll for today. So what will actually affect these guys? Because they all fly. I guess I just freeze half of them. Okay, so let's just go to the next level. So I've got, uh, this didn't have a rune in it. I still got two levels of pandemonium. <laughs> I don't feel like I've made a lot of progress on that, but hey, there's a uh, the way straight off this level at least, so I don't have to stick around. Uh... Whoa, okay. That needs a bit of freezing. Minus 10 corrosion is quite a lot. I'm going to see if I can wait that one off. But I do have the resist corrosion, so that would be a lot worse if I didn't have the resist corrosion. That'd be like a, what, minus 20 without the resist corrosion? Alright, let's go down. I love that change. Uh, ooh. I might just teleport out of here. Um, how the corrosion works, so that now if you go resist corrosion, there's like halved amounts instead of half chance of getting it. It's really nice. Uh... Was this the scroll of revelation? All right. It's plasma beam. That's fine, but I'm just gonna start teleport because it's kind of, kind of a lot of stuff here. I don't think there's anything to cancel my teleport though, so it should be fine. And there wasn't were a few like items on the ground I wanted. Um. I do kind of need to head back that way, but... Or I could just kind of skip this level, because there's a way to skip it right here. Um, I'm marked, though. I think I'm just going to have to do this level, unfortunately. I don't sap my magic. Come on, that's just me when I'm marked. I guess I'll teleport out. Uh, didn't take me that far, did it? I'm kind of losing a bit of health. I might just drink a health potion. I was hoping this takes me somewhere with the teleport here. Wait, it got uh, got cancelled, did it, by something, or did I cancel it? Dunno. Uh, I might start another one. Alright, get magic points, but health is going to take a little bit longer. Oh, man, those walls when I'm trying to rest up. It's not too bad when just like one or two turns is passing, but when I'm resting up, that's uh, some serious flickering with the walls. Alright, so got got the magic mapping or something. I think there's something else here as well. 
Yeah, the haste potion. Have I seen a way off the level? I saw something down here. That is a way off the level. It seems I had to teleport out or something. I think last time I was there. Yeah, teleports. I should probably grab that one. There we go. Because I think I've gone through a reasonable number. At least I don't need them for the tomb. Because, I, well, for one thing, I've already done the tomb. Hey, Dark Rune! Finally, an actual rune! Nice. All right. Now he's got a fight where Glorang's block hangs out. He likes to bring in his um, executions, which is probably all right. I don't think he flies right. What does he say he does? Oh, he does fly. They fly, and they probably have some resistance to cold, which might be a problem. Uh, one resistance to cold. Actually, it's not the worst thing ever. I don't, still don't feel like I'm like massively good against the world thing. Although I finally got into the boss chambers. I might just be able to seal their rune. I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, it's certainly not around where we're currently shattering, that's for sure. Alright, what have we got? Cancellation, that's probably alright. I think we got tons of those though, so I probably won't actually end up needing it. Um... Oh, there he is. Okay, so I gotta do... I gotta start, uh... I gotta start with a bit of Shatter, I think, of Paul the Vortex. Um, ow, this is actually hurting. I'm gonna start teleport just in case. Chad is not doing that much. Is there anything they could do a bit more damage here? The Polyvonic's doing nicely. Oh yeah, I didn't quite take him out, unfortunately. I don't I don't read him particularly fast either, which is a bit of a shame. But I'll try heading back to where he was and try to get my health back. He should pop on the screen any second now. Hey, Snackman! Or Snackman! We can say it probably. How's it going? There he is. Hey, he's still, he's still wounded. K-Man for shot, right? I think I saw you over on Discord as K-Man, right? As a... Maybe a little bit easier to say. But I should be able to say Snake Man. Hopefully. Oh, this character looks great. Yeah, no, this character is great. They've been, uh, they cleared out quite a few runes, so got 12 runes now. Still got uh, one more pandemonium rune though, I think. And then I got the abyss rune after that to get. Oh, I just channeled the magic. My party's doing just fine. Usually I lose a bit of party doing the abyss, but. Oh. So what's his name? Ignatio? He. He's fast, I know that. A little bit of cold resist. He doesn't resist being shattered, hey. Oh, lob. Good old lob. We're gonna cancel up the. Mark and teleport out. I see, there's lots of guys in there. Whoa. Might just go to the next elite region, somewhere where I haven't been marked again. It's glowing rune on this level. Uh, unfortunately, it's still a bit damaged, but. Okay. I want to just get somewhere where I can rest up just a little bit, that would be nice. Um, but I'm not sure that's gonna happen in a hurry with these guys around. Oh, okay, uh, Polybotics, this guy. I know the Polybotics does really well against these, um, guys. Pretty sure some of these things. A lot of brain worms. <laughs> I think it's probably fine. I know, uh, do they drain, they drain magic, right? Are you thinking of a Vine Stalker fight with Sith Mana? Think that's strong? With like channel magic for health? I'm not sure if that would be super strong, because isn't the channel magic only like for a turn or something? I mean, it's still a decent regen, but 
I feel like a, a god like Okawari with the finesse would be better. Because with the finesse, you can, um... You can hit things with more... Well, more attacks, right? Which is effectively like channeling into magic with the magic on bites. Uh... I might pull the Vortex out right now. This is fine, but I'm just going to teleport out. Hopefully I can kill some of the permanent stuff before I teleport out. <laughs> well, I killed something, but I didn't have a lot of magic points at the end there. Hey, there we go. Okay, so I'll start with the channel magic. What can I actually get this guy with? Uh... This is actually not that bad. Yeah, because I wasn't like in a... Well, I wasn't fighting all the creatures at once, the real thing. Alright, where is the ruin? In fact, my stats have managed to stay in a pretty good spot. But I don't actually have any stat drain at all, which is kind of incredible for in here. Um, where is the rune? I didn't magic map out this time around, so it's a little bit harder to find than it is sometimes. Oh, speaking of vine because I gotta do a vine and whopper at some stage. I don't know if I'll keep them with a proper whopper. Um, maybe it would work. Oh, I didn't know channel magic was for such a short duration. It looks like eight turns if you have 15 invocations. That's about right. Because you just gotta keep doing it over and over and over, right? Yeah, it's mainly it's mainly used for like mages, because you don't need that many magic points to be quite effective. There's health's a bit different than that. Uh what? Where is this dude hiding its rune? Ah, oh, there it is. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, this is exactly where I want to be. So, this rune in the Iron City of this rune I've got to go. Also, I'm oh, doing well dodging, which is good. Actually, that's probably enough dodging. Um, What I want to get is fire magic. It might sound a little bit silly, but I'm going to get a title out of it. So, <laughs> I'm willing to do silly for a title. No, that's not working very well. Let's pull the vortex, this guy. Eight turns of magic would still be great. Yeah, like it adds up. Like it's four turn. Um, how much is that? Four times eight shouldn't be too hard. Uh, thirty two is that? That was about thirty two. In total, which is a lot of magic points. Like, that's over half of what this character's got. Alright, I don't want that. I want to get the rune. Hey, I detected a rune. Alright, let's go straight towards it. I'll start the channel magic. And just head straight towards it. Okay, uh, where's my apportation? My rune. I don't know where the Paul Loftus level is, but when I find it, I should probably go take it. Uh... And honestly, it shouldn't take too long to pull in a portal now that I've got the rune, because that's apparently meant to make more portals spawn. I could go down, but I don't think that's a sensible idea. I'm trying to look for an up bottle, not a down one. Hey, there we go. That's the gateway leading out. Excellent. So that's uh, 14 runes, right? Uh, where's the Iron City of Dust? I think this is the Iron City of Dust. I don't think I want to swap around, so I'm doing the South of Earth. I might swap that ice ring for intelligence, maybe. So the shadows on eighty-one percent power. That's pretty good, I think. 
on Destiny 2 was the hardest for you before you've done like you said it. Yeah, the idea of Destiny I don't think it ever gets easy. Um I mean, actually okay some characters that did a ride in here. But it's generally one of the hardest. The tomb you can kind of do with the right character. Like, this was the right character. I did the tomb like it's my fifth rune or something. Because I had the whole... Um... What was it? Like, immunity to torment, right? Which definitely helps a lot. How? This is okay. There's only one of these guys that can hit me. And there's, I mean, I guess that one can hit me as well. Uh, I think it might pop a brilliance. Okay, that's fine. I got, I actually got a ton of fortunes left. I'm kind of surprised how few have gone through. It's almost like been playing a mummy, which is not quite what I should have been doing. But yeah, I got a ton left. Excellent. Uh, this is fine. Alright, I'm already on the first city of this. It's actually not too bad with this character, but you do have to be careful. Because things can go from not too bad to, oh no, panic in like one turn. So actually if you get like, uh, there was a level that like, I don't know, it was like five hell sentinels that all hit me with torment on a different character. And I was like, oh no, panic. Because you only got like five AC, right? So you're not, well, this character does not exactly protect it. They managed to get a little bit of evasion, which is kind of nice. Because I'm up to 25, but it's never going to be huge with my... Uh, thanks, my, uh, thanks. I should just magic mad this, I got way too many of those, right? Okay. Uh, so it's fine. I'll just challenge the magic. Well, he's got distortion, which is actually not too bad. I feel like, uh, Holy Rise is probably worse than distortion, but I'm in here. Because distortion would, I mean, it would mess with my placement, I guess. That's about the worst thing it can do, though. I love how I can actually kill the eye gods at a reasonable amount of time with the shadow. No, that's uh, kind of hard the reason I got the shadows because I knew it would make going in here a lot easier. Oh, no, I'm actually getting a bit out of my reflection with like those whole eye golems trying to hit me with uh, crystal spears. In fact, I think there's a decent number of things that will try and shoot you with ranged stuff in here, so it's actually not bad having the reflection. I think I've had that like the whole game because it's reflection magic points. Um, I think it gives strands as well. This is something. And my title well, was going for a fire one, right? Which I'm already like halfway there. I probably won't even be able to do a full zigger up. We'll see. I might try to do a full zigger up anyway. Hopefully, I don't mean my end in a zigger up. That would be a uh, sad ending to this character, but it should be fine. Seth Bottom is not a terrible Ziggurat god. They're not like Gozak levels are good, but they're definitely pretty good. You know, I don't even need to fight the Spader. <laughs> He's slacking on the job, leaving his rune undefended. I mean, to be fair, I did shatter and probably wasn't expecting that. All right, well, that's 15 runes. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, go head over to... Uh, to... To a Ziggurat. I should have one of those. I have a figurine on me as well. I... Oh, come on. Oh, really? Can't get there? I want to go there, there. Okay, what do I need? I don't... Uh, I mean, the cloaks, the other ones kind of works. I mean, that was more invasion. The other more armor class. Uh, Chatter's probably going to be my main sort of thing. So these rings aren't necessarily bad. But, oh, I still don't need that light one. Did I not find another intelligence? Oh, I did. Good. Oh, let's get ahead of seven. Eh, whatever. Um, I might just put on like a... Well, that's kind of an evasion rig. It makes it harder for things to hit me. Instead of the flight one. Yeah, I think that works. 
We need to fire this call over this one. All right, I think I'm ready to go on in. I haven't done a ziggurat since, I don't know, the tournament or something. Uh... Oh, ignition exists. What do you mean? Oh, right, it's a different way around. I'll quit rob the ignition. I feel like it's going to be going to be somewhat useful in here. And not so much against those guys, but... Uh, no, I'll just channel these guys. <laughs> Our channel is kind of like a like good spell here as well. All right. Uh, I care about the anti magic flail, obviously. Right, what's the Zamblet? Uh, Reflection, Harm? I mean, Harm's actually... I don't realize quite what I want, but it's something they could use. They could should also enchant up the shield. They might find a better shield, but I reckon just trying to get it enchanted up is a good idea. Ooh, okay, that actually looks like a good spot for ignition. Oh. This dude got silence? Yup. Alright, can I just, like, uh, yard that up before it gets too close to me? Nice. Uh, actually, my discover this. I might just freeze it to death. <laughs> Matter of short blade's not gonna help. I don't think there's any fire manuals around. Oh, it's gonna give me everything. And now there's a manual song, so that's fine. Can you silence silence? <laughs> I mean, not with pandemonium blondes, because they're not affected by silence, but. Hey, you can in general. Not that it's the most helpful. <laughs> My arm is still the arch magic stuff, which is not too bad. Alright, it's level 8 of the cigarette. These, uh, these levels can be fairly serious. I say can, because they're not always that serious good. I got some XP. Pump that in. Fire magic's 15. Nice, that's what I want to see. Uh, hell, more experience, of course, because Ziggurats have a bunch of those, so it's a 16 skill. Feels wrong not picking up the, uh, ex no, the mutation potions, but I don't need them with this character. Yeah, well, I haven't really seen dancing weapon levels before, but I guess they exist. They're not really a problem, though, so that's something else. And Shrove, nah. Stuff of uh, summoning air? Probably not. Uh, I'll pick it up for now, but I reckon I'll probably just end up dropping that one. Whoa. All right. <laughs> not so scary after they burn, though, are they? Uh, oh, wait. I don't even want to do this house. So I got the, got the alchemist one. All right. Level 12. Not halfway there yet, but I'm doing pretty good progress. Burn, Polar Vortex, Shadow, not the Shadow, there we go, that did the trick. Don't need the Alchemy, what else we got? Dodging, I mean, dodging's actually fine, but I don't think I'll be getting dodging. Unless, of course, uh, I max out my fire fairly soon, then I guess I can. Right, next level. Should maybe almost have a star for fire, but this one, uh, isn't too bad. I might just go invisible, because I can see some ghost moths. Um... Nothing else I need here. Let's just keep it going. Level 40. Is that halfway? I mean, it's probably the easier half done. He's not too bad. I just gotta get a little bit closer. Watch the burn. Check out the shields, though, because that could actually be useful. Any of those tower shields? Nah, no, plus zero. Alright, that answers that question. I've got spellcasting. I think that's pretty much maxed out, actually. Uh... Setting on like 26 or something, like a lot of my things. Wait, intelligence, hold up. Hold up. That was the thing that I was thinking that might always make like a secondary ring that I could wear. What am I actually wearing instead? 
Right, the evasion one. I gotta go dual intelligence. I know they're not the, like the best rings ever, but it brought me on. Uh, we're shattered. Pole vaulting is seventy five percent. Shattered is eighty eight percent. That's not too bad. Uh, small guys for me to burn. <laughs> Okay, so the statue form, I can't actually use any of the forms. Doesn't matter what they are. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's a staff of fire. I don't think I worry about the staff of fire actually after all. I think I keep with the one for shatter. As nice as burning people is. Alright, oh, don't calcify myself. Uh, it's actually nice to like effectively have the necro mutation as well as being to cast spells. Oh, do the ghouls are they generally considered a good magazine character? I'm not sure. Usually, you just go with ghost acts, so you don't have to worry about uh potions really. So, probably not in terms of magazines, but does it just like a single thing? I think ghouls are actually not bad. Alright, next potion. So I'm on 21 scale. Not bad. Uh, I kind of shadow these. Well, the side do nothing too nasty to me. Wait, what is that? Is that the rope? It's not the rope that's magic, it's something else here. Oh, it's the whip and the hand axe, right. That's not so good. Alright, okay, burn these and then the ones that don't burn like shatter. This should be fairly easy to get through. Um, Helmet of Midasin? No thanks. What else has this got for me? Plus 8 scale mail? I mean, at some stage, if I wanted to keep on doing this, like, seriously, I'd need to get some better armor, but I don't think I do need to keep on doing this seriously. Oh, I don't think I care too much about that armor. And if I was trying to get, like, really good armor, it'd be something really heavy. I'd probably want to get eventually, like, gold dragon armor or something. Or crystal plate. If I've had orange crystal plate, I'd probably not be able to get it going, but that's, uh, what is a good ziggurat item? Uh... Will put oh, us minus in again. Game really wants to give me some minus ends. Okay. How much skills do I have? 23, almost 24. Right, and this worm man. I kind of want to carry that around, so I might drop the. I might drop that will. Oh, it's my only flight. You know what? I might. I didn't have brought quite as much stuff in there with me. I can drop. I throw that stuff. It doesn't even have hard skills I want. Uh, yeah, it's the minus end one again. Whoa, I might shatter some of these guys. There we go. Get rid of some of those electric elementals. Uh... Going fine. There we go, shatter a few more things, excellent. Half of those guys are flying, but the electric elementals are shattering up nicely. Minus stakes is really just more of this stuff. Alright, level 22, these levels are actually getting fairly serious. What well, god is most fun for me? Ah, uh, it's a number I quite like. I mean, I've got to say, like, Sith Mart is a lot of fun, just not having to worry about magic points as much. Um, right, that's one of the reasons I keep on taking them. They're also reasons to be powerful, which is kind of nice, not just fun. What's another one? Oh, I like Quasol. Quasol's a bunch of fun as well. Maybe not quite as tough, but they're definitely fun. Uh... I don't know, yeah, those are gotta be some of my top tier gods in terms of fun. They just keep walking out, these are just mummies. Mummies burn really well. 
And they chatted really well. Unfortunately, they do slow me, but that's probably fine. <laughs> Am I going 26? I'm always maxed out on the, um, the fire magic, which is great. Oh, it's an ice ring. It's got stuff on it, too. Like, uh, willpower, resist courage, resist uh, the invisible. I don't think I actually really need that stuff. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's slightly better. Oh, what's this? Sword of the Doom Knight? It's got minus cards, so obviously not for this character. It's plus 13 great sword. Uh, inflicts additional damage proportional to its victim's maximum health. Gives you willpower, prevents spellcasting, drains your maximum health when unequipped. Right. I don't know, that's... I don't like items with minus cards on it, but... Hey, if I got on a character that was using two... on a Fomacid or something... Yeah, yeah, I guess a Fomacid. You're right, I think they're... <laughs> Uh, Snake Man the Fomacid would like it. I don't know. A lot of my two-handed characters cast spells, so... I'm kind of questioning how good it is. Uh... Hey! Searing Wrench! There we go. So I get Fighting... Shields and Manual, okay. Dodging Human has Manual and Spell Casting has a Manual. Wow, everything seems to have manual. Ice has a manual. Earth doesn't. Uh, I don't think those girls are going to get uh, too much of a chance because I've only got three more levels of Ziggurat here. Alright, shield stone. See how it's making progress and getting blinking scrolls. All those things are good to keep my good old searing wrench going here. Didn't expect to get this title in Ice Elementalist, but. Hey, I'm perfectly happy with getting it on a nice silver list. Okay, I need to get the polar vortex out. That's pretty important to get rid of the uh venues, those because those are definitely a problem. I gotta be living completely slow here. I think. No bad news of that lot, which is nice. Alright, there we go. Good. I was slowly losing health, which is a bit of a worry. Oh, it's uh, minus two in. Why don't these items have minus in on them? I don't... <laughs> well, they quite works for this character. Hey, Master Ice, alright. Uh, I don't think I get that helmet of intelligence a chance. There's not going to be any chance I can get to a point where I can take off my... Hat. I haven't really been going for that with tons of like picking out loot either. Alright, so second to last level here. Um let's get up a little bit closer. Found some of the stuff. There we go. I think the opposite strategy is going to deal with itself, which is good. I don't like being fragile here, though. It's not ideal. Dragons are fine, because those can be shattered. There we go. I think this is uh, working out just fine. That's so many bones of experience for me to drink. Uh, kind of, kind of crazy. I mean, it's sort of helping. Why does it sometimes give out the tiles, like view of the map when I'm drinking a potion of experience. I don't understand. It doesn't happen that often, but it does sometimes happen. Alright. Last level. Come on, don't be something too bad. No blinking scrolls if I have to, but this... This guy looks fine on his own. What else have we got here? Oh. Silent Wraith. I just don't think it's like a dedicated silent race level. I think it's just a stray silent race that happens to go with all these other demons, um, by the looks of things. Get some invocations. Doesn't really matter what I get at this point. Uh I have been slowed, which is not I oh silence. 
not ideal. I'm just going to step back a bit. It's definitely following me, that sound, race, all right? There are definitely creatures around, so I still got to try and avoid it for now. Uh, confusion can be cured, thankfully. Ow. Hey, got sound race for you. Okay, so I can start with a... I didn't really get any better with my wands, but I'll start with the mind burst. And then maybe move to the acid when it gets a little bit closer. It's not actually that good chance of hitting. Oh, there we go. So the last level again, I mean, it did have a sound race on, so it made it a bit more difficult, but it wasn't too bad. So that Robe of Mist, Fortune with Harm, Corrode, Slow, Evasion plus 5. How does Evasion plus 5 fit in with a Mist Fortune? I don't know. Uh... I dropped that time reflection. I was just thinking I might need that in the cigarette, but it's, nah. I'm done with my cigarette now. In fact, I should just go win with this character, because I dumped my cigarette. I got my, uh, picked it up. All right. Yeah, I've, I've done Zod 5 already, so it's just a matter of walking over. Uh. <laughs> oh. Characters are strong. That character's amazing. Yeah, once they got going, they struggled a bit early on, and then they got the... Yeah, whatever, I'll just go out this way. They got the, what was it called, the permafrost eruption that helped them out. Alright, go to dungeon level zero. I can't channel magic as I need to. It's always a nice feeling. Now, once you've done the thing around your skills, are like just maxing out, it makes life so much easier as well. So if I have problems on this arm run, um, I'd be a bit surprised. Because I have blinking scrolls as well, which is definitely nice. Alright, keep it moving. Uh... <laughs> All those pop bloods. So I got shattered. I mean, it's, I'm not the best person to be around if you're a plant, I don't think. I kind of just indiscriminate damage here. No reason to actually fight that guy. Shatter is great for escaping. As long as you can just blast walls and stuff. Oh, was that a seraph? Can I just go up? Thank goodness. <laughs> that okay. So seraph does actually pose a threat to this character, um, because they have like holy wrath attacks. So they summon in angels and stuff. They also have holy wrath attacks, and I think they're quite fast. So that's probably one of the few things that actually does pose a threat, but it came along with us on the staircase, so. That always helps. Hey, I'm at the exit of the Serum Rush. Let's get out of here. That was definitely a fun character, though. Ooh. I had tons of items on me. I get the <laughs> Ring of Shadows, more made and stuff I never really used. But I'd say the main item that made a lot of difference was that Fire Resist gloves, because that was kind of my only Fire Resist for a lot of the game. Yeah, but then later on, I got things like the Arch Magi Rope, the Tad of the Alchemist, those all made a huge difference, but they were a lot later into the game. How many Blinky had nine, oh, 17 left at the end, of course, because it's some of those from the Ziggurat. 13 Taste, 12 Brilliance, yeah, I mean, that character's got going. It only took, it took under 5 hours, is that right? Apparently it's not right. They did a Ziggurat at that time. Huh. Well, that's not bad at all. No, so I think the Power Frost being uh, nerfed is fine, because it still fills, uh, fulfills its role of doing non-cold damage on a cold character before you get the Polar Vortex. 